Go. All right. <clears throat> Ooh. Welcome to the OSRs podcast, where we do RuneScape related things with RuneScape related content creators. And guys, if you do like the podcast, remember to drop a like. We usually don't ask, but hit that like. We want to grow. I am Mitt Metcalf, one of your hosts, followed by the people down below. What's going on, guys? Regsy as always. And hello, Vice Cup. And joining the homeless squad, we have <laughs> Evie Skate. We're at 6 a.m. for him. Welcome, buddy. Thanks for coming on. Yeah, no worries, guys. Thanks for having me. Man, yeah. early bird. 6 a.m., man. Is it, is it no. 6 a.m.? Yeah, it's not. I, you can't even call me an early bird. Holy I haven't crap. been to sleep yet. Oh, oh, oh my god. god. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you're like me. <laughs> I went to sleep at 7. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Well, you woke up at three, though. That's not like him. You went exactly. to bed, right? You go to bed. Uh, well, <laughs> that's like saying he doesn't wake up at three either. I, Wait, I don't know if he does. So, Ev, what time do you usually go to sleep every day, and what time so, do you usually wake up? So, when I was like streaming on Twitch, I found like the ideal time to stream because there's more people online was overnight for me. So, my sleeping pattern: I go to bed normally about anywhere between six and eight a.m. and wake up anywhere between two and six p.m. <laughs> Um, that's yo. exactly my schedule Jeez. on Twitch. <laughs> Mate, exactly do you know what? what I do. I find that when I start doing that, and trust me, I've fallen into those bad sleeping patterns. Like Sad. I don't know about you, but I get some terrible ulcers, man. Like in my mouth, like really? where I'm just ran down all the really? time. Like, do you uh, get? Yeah, that? I, I don't get like massive ulcers and stuff. I get like I don't know. I'm definitely run down a lot. Aren't those but, yeah. Yeah. sores, dude? dude. Not, I don't know. I thought <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't know what that is. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, well, I remember. You don't know what an ulcer is. Well, I know you get them in your stomach. Yeah, but no, it's like, like a, no, it's like a canker oh, sore. Yeah. You, can, you can get like, you can get yeah, like yeah. mouth ulcers. They're not that serious, but like yeah, they, no, they just, sting like. Oh, yeah. yeah, he's yeah, he's talking about canker sores. Yeah. Right. So something I need to fucking know. Like this is just on my brain right now. So run me through like an average day for you when you were making a video every single day. Like, tell me your daily routine. I want to know what time you went to bed, what time you woke up, what you did with that, like, within that day. How many because, times you like, brush your teeth? <laughs> like, this, this man This man tried to do a video every day for an entire year. He got you, done you, half a year in. Yeah, yeah you did yeah. over half a year. So I'm really interested yeah. to know what your life was like. Yeah, well, you said try. I want to make it clear that I didn't stop because I couldn't do it. I just stopped because of, like, you know other YouTube things going on yes. yeah you, youtube yeah yeah we'll, we'll get into dude, that I see, later, i've I seen suppose, the videos but... man I, yeah. I saw the videos I, yeah but um I've been keeping track. yeah so you know i wake up anytime in the evening spend a couple hours with my girlfriend have dinner and then i just sit at my computer i am normally like back when i was doing a video every day playing anywhere between two and five accounts at the same time so i can film you know <laughs> two or five videos at the same time and then probably around 3 a.m. my time i'd start editing take me like two and a half hours to do the edit quickly render upload for 6 a.m. and then go to bed straight afterwards wake up and repeat you play two to five accounts and then recorded each separate account <laughs> into its own video what the yeah. fuck man yeah, yeah. oh my dude, god that's, a, that's some multitasking man yeah yeah so no i wonder like, it know. was like 10 hour videos you just had one account <laughs> yeah, fucking up for, for so, 10 hours legit we we actually mentioned you in a podcast like a while back and um i i said i pray to god that you don't have a girlfriend because you've been <laughs> like how did she find it dude like for real like like was she pissed off at you because you were doing that or like how did it no 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 does she respect like, the hustle yeah she respects the hustle she works um she's a nurse so her shifts are like all over the place but we always find some time each day to hang out and Oh, that's, a, that's a real hard hours right there yeah, oh, man. yeah. you guys so, both got that grind going. yeah it's funny when she does like night shift because she'll be going to bed at the same time i am but then like she'll have a like today just before i jumped in this call she came in to say she was going to work so huh. it's all like up oh, and about, but... oh do you guys live together do you <clears throat> yeah 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 oh okay that's yeah i mean you yeah. kind of have to see each other in that yeah, yeah exactly. I, I like the big, mutual <laughs> the mutualness between you guys is really nice yeah yeah nice. we're both young so uh, you know we're just hustling <laughs> while we're young okay so so the idea to upload a video every day i believe the year before mr bug in december <clears throat> the best cpm month must have been totally <laughs> right there <laughs> uploaded a video every day and then ended with a huge drop party did that have yeah. any inspiration on that uh no so back when i first started youtube uh doing runescape prior to runescape i used to play poker and stream on twitch when i started youtube i used to watch this guy 
on YouTube. It was like a, a businessy sort of channel. And he was like, how to get started on YouTube was like one of his videos. And one of his tips was to upload every day. So when I first started, I did 40 days in a row and then had like a month off. And then I did 50 days in a row. And then after that, I think I uploaded last year, like, yeah, it was like 180 days in a row. Just uh, <laughs> just did every day last year. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to give it another crack this year and see if I can get the whole year done. Because oh, like last year when I did 180, God. I burnt out so bad. I was like, I want to do the whole year this year. But yeah, but yeah this year said, you, yeah. you were prepared, right? You were yeah, prepared yeah. So on the, um, on the flight over to RuneFest last year, I wrote down an idea for every single day of the year. So this year I was like, I'm not going to wake up and be like, oh shit, when I'm going to film today, I've got like my entire notepad filled with 365 video ideas. Okay. So I'm prepared every day. Let, to do let it. me ask you this question then. Do you have more than 365 ideas? Just in case yeah, if one so of them didn't like work. Throughout, throughout the year, you know, I've got every video that I'm going to do. I'd come up with other ideas, like updates would come out and I'd do a video on that. And then I'd just push one to the side. Like, I'm not going to lie. A few of the ideas in the in the book that I have are fucking dog shit. So I was like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we'll so, okay. Out. I, I get, was going to ask I, how I many winners in that book, right? Yeah, 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 yeah it was yeah, a yeah. few. A few, not many uh, good ones, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, you, had, you definitely had a plan. So that's crazy, man. You actually did... 180 days though oh my god yeah so no it was good it was good while i, while yeah, I was it, going like like i said i didn't burn out i was like i was ready to do the rest of the year but yeah i don't know if we want to get into the whole deep in, into youtube oh yeah thing, we, should, yeah. we should let's do it man. Yeah, let's, let's do, do it. it you want it yeah all right. so <laughs> yeah i like I, I like to put a lot of research into like youtube and like how the algorithm works and and trying to grow a channel and stuff and yeah what i found was that um after like the numbers were, were dropping down on videos that were like the same sort of stuff and i was like i, I don't understand why the like the numbers are dropping so drastically like i, I started a series the first episode got like 50 and then the next episode got, like 30 and then it was like 20 15 uh -huh. and i was like what the hell is going on so i put a bunch of research into like people that upload every day and all of them are the same like there's channels with like 800,000 subscribers that get 20,000 views on their videos and it's like they're just not yeah. getting pushed because they upload so frequently and when you have a video that's come out that's being pushed out to people um you upload again that previous video stops being pushed so you sort of miss out on the extra growth you would get from the, the extra few days of being pushed to people outside of your subscriber base sort of thing so I was like, looking at that, I was like, is it worth like continuing? And it just, it didn't make sense to me to upload every day for, you know, 20,000 views to the same people and not see any growth when I could upload every three days, get 60,000 views. And then 40,000 of those are new people that are seeing my content and potentially continue growing from there. So that's what, yeah, made me decide to stop doing so every day. Did, did you do any research on why the videos were getting less views per, per so, video while you were uploading every single day. Because, because of that. I, like, I, I have a theory on it, but I want to hear what you've come me up too. with. Me too. I have a theory on it too. <laughs> because of the uh, the the way that, you know, YouTube's all secret about their algorithm and how it works. It's like, it's hard to pinpoint exactly what it was. But my, my personal thought was that it was just happening too frequently. The people that would like to see my videos like you know i personally can't watch every single video that i see on youtube that i want to i want to yeah. watch i just don't have the time Everybody's so i figured that, that people that wanted to watch my videos also wanted to watch other people's videos and if i'm uploading every single day they're just more selective with the ones that they want to see from me okay yep that's very true uh, dude i'll tell you my theory on it and okay. like these are all theories <laughs> because nobody knows for sure but yeah exactly <laughs> And this genuinely made sense, and I feel like there's evidence to back it up. So, the way that I've always saw it, so say, for example, you upload one video per week. So, one video every seven days. And let's just say, you know, pretty much everybody that subscribes to you watches that video. The following week, if you upload that one video again, that's going to be pushed out to those people that watched it previously the prior week, right? But if all of a sudden you start to upload three videos a week, and see, say most people can only catch one or two of them, what I believe happens is your video gets shown to the people 
who watched all of them, but the people that didn't get a chance to watch every single one of them, YouTube kind of nitpick when they put it in their sub box. Because I can yes. say this, dude, I'm subscribed to you, and I never saw a single video yeah, of yeah. in my sub box. And that's simply because, like, not to bash you or anything like that, it's just, I I'm really not too interested in watching, like, someone getting a a major in the 2k like that's oh for sure yeah come on man Dude, <laughs> no, what, what i'm getting at is like where i miss so many videos i i never got recommended your videos even though i'm subscribed but i did occasionally go onto your channel because i was curious and like i've been binge watched like five of them in one sitting Yep. And then the next day, your video would show up my sub box. Yeah, but, yeah. But yeah. I wouldn't click it, and then the day after, it wouldn't be there. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, exactly. I, I think, like, if you upload a lot and people miss your videos, those videos then don't get pushed <clears throat> in front of them as much. Whereas yeah. if you upload, like, say, Settled, he's a prime example. He uploads, like, let's say once a month. Every fucker that's subscribed to him watches it. Everyone's yeah. gonna get that in their sub. Yeah, there's a, a push, different, yeah. there's a different thing going for. Yeah, yeah, he has settle. Meme power. <laughs> yeah, he has yeah. the meme power, dude. He's got yeah. Reddit. He's got yeah. the game on his side. He's, he's kissing yeah. Mod he's got, and he's pictures got... and shit. <laughs> yeah, he's no, got he's a huge fireability or marketability. You know, he's easily marketable. So it's e way, yeah. way different over there. I saw him that. kissing yeah. a dude, yeah, so I'm thinking if Settled's gay, we're all out of a job, dude, because no one likes a gay Ultimate Iron Man YouTuber more than everyone else, dude. It's yeah. over for us. But <laughs> do, do, do you understand, like, the theory I kind of have there with, like, yeah, the yeah. Hey, Mr. Video? Hey, Ray Shea, I see. wouldn't even say that's a theory, that's a fact. Because, yeah, and to, like, just to, like, yeah. yeah. further Good on stuff. that, it's yeah. like, so, you know, you click on your YouTube homepage and you get shown 10 videos, right? YouTube is always going to put the 10 videos there that you're most likely to click on. Yeah. yeah. And if they see that, oh, you watched an EV skate video yesterday and then we showed you one, you know, uh, you watched one two days ago and we showed you one yesterday and you didn't click on it. Yeah. You watch these 10 other YouTubers. They're going to be more likely to put those 10 like people in your recommended. Yeah. So uh, can I, can I pitch in my theory? It's pretty much the same, but like a little bit different, right? So obviously when you subscribe, you're actually not, fully subscribing nowadays it ain't it ain't the same like back in the day where it was just a subscription and you that was it now there's the bell mm -hmm. right if, yeah. if you don't click on that bell, bell but the thing is when you click on the bell there's actually different levels of priority yeah. that, that yep. you're going with right even if you click on the bell you still may not get every video because there's there's an extra option you have to go through which is show me every single post from that person if you don't click on yeah. that then uh, there's there there's a chance you're not gonna see everything and, and yeah when you click subscribe yeah. by default it's not on show me everything it's yeah it's on... like 50 50 or something you know yeah you yeah. have to go right into the settings and stuff yeah and you gotta just, go deep yeah we, i hate always, that i hate that i we always and everybody always complains about like the whole bell scenario and stuff like that but like have you ever thought of it in terms of like if the bell didn't exist like i i, I see the bell as a good thing in a way yeah people it's good aren't going to see your videos saying. as much but imagine if like if you're subscribed to somebody you have to see their video like you have to it like clogs up your feet i'm subscribed on my youtube to over a thousand people i've been on yeah. youtube since like 2007 and i'm telling you dude if i had to see every fucker's video i'd be unsubscribing <laughs> from a hundred people a day do you see what i'm saying yeah so yeah like, yeah the bell sense. thing's kind of like yeah. a good thing in a way because i'll tell you what yeah. I, i'm guaranteeing it mate people don't want to see every video of mine yeah so like, yeah, I, i'd be nah. down to like 50k subs if everyone had to see my videos every single day <laughs> yeah so you know I mean? yeah so rexy that's exactly why youtube's doing that is because they <clears throat> youtube wants people to watch different types of content more people more more content creators videos right not just you because you know if everybody is um so so like if youtube follows the original trend where it's basically whoever gets the most views gets trending then it will always be like pewdiepie right he will always be he will always be trending right so the way to counter that is that they basically made a system where eventually some creators will get faded out of your sub box and then obviously they'll promote some new people right because like that's what they want they want you to keep watching more videos and they're gonna keep giving you like algorithmically the most interesting thing so like so it's it's good and bad because like obviously for people that get faded out that if it's it fucks them over right because then they lose on a ton of people and then you know some pe new people that'll come in they'll take the spotlight for a while because like 
I mean, as a viewer, you can only watch a certain amount a day before you get bored, right? Like, uh, after a while. So you need YouTube's just trying to keep it fresh so that people are um, yeah. constantly engaged and always watching, stay on YouTube. Because you know why they need money, right? Every time more people watch, you know, Apparently YouTube Apparently they said more they money. don't make money, so they're in debt. Yeah. I don't know how that, that works. works. Yeah, <laughs> yeah ad, run ad block, loss. dude. Ad block's too strong, dude. That's that's what it yeah. is. That's what it comes down they're to. They're trying well, to sell that merch. I, I also have a theory that, like, yeah. even if people didn't use ad block, would they even have enough ads to show for the amount of views that they get per day? Like, surely there's a, a select amount of companies that are actually advertising on youtube like you know you get twenty thousand views on a video you're only monetized for like eight thousand of them mm -hmm. they don't i don't think they would have enough ads to be able to keep up with the amount of views that they put out um maybe not maybe i think not. i think question. they would because you know ads are just kind of unlimited you can really put out as much as now when they're running away from really YouTube. yeah yeah well, it's well like, yeah a few years ago they were running away because you know some they can't some they can from like wall street bro a really bullshit article and they're like it's scared companies but like that's that that scare has been over you know dude, i'm personally having that issue. now dude that place yeah. is going down yeah i mean they, they it's like up, so you know let's just say a company was to buy off youtube uh, i want to advertise google. this 30 second yeah off google yeah, i want to advertise for 30 seconds um and youtube says right for a thousand views that's going to cost you you know 30 dollars or whatever and they're like cool saw me out with a million views how many views are on youtube every day it'd be billions uh, right yeah, we don't really know so <laughs> sorry, yeah, 30 dollars like, cpm dude oh, Come on, shit, no like the company would pay youtube <laughs> yeah a certain I'm amount down, like buddy. a certain package I'm down, let's go. Right? yeah yeah, this is yeah so like it shows yeah. how much you make from youtube and it shows like how much you made youtube and you look at that number you're like jesus christ <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> like, come on man yeah did i get even a percent <laughs> It yeah. is mad when you really think of YouTube and what it is yeah, because it is. We're, 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 we're all YouTubers here, right? We all make like a little bit of money, if not a living from YouTube. And to us, that's, it's our living. It's our livelihood. Yeah, it's but everything. To, to, yeah. to YouTube, like we're literally getting less. We're than scraping, runs, you know, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> like we're, we're, we're getting the fragrance from the pie. Let alone the fucking crush. Oh, we're like we smelling it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> we can't get the we physical. Get to, we get to sniff it, dude. Yeah, basically. Oh, we got to lift it. Like, yeah. you, YouTube is the ultimate YouTuber because they effectively make money from everybody. Yeah, exactly. Like, they're yeah. fucking yeah. living yeah. the dream, dude. They're the grandmaster. PewDiePie's number two, you know. Hey, dude, if they didn't exist, think, we'd be uh, on Facebook, so, you know. Exactly. We you think you think Jake Paul's a genius with his Team 10, mate? Team YouTube's got everyone. Yeah, Team Google, <laughs> they, they're the top. The <laughs> Very fucked genius. Yeah. I heard he has, like, a patch of his brain missing. I don't know. <laughs> what, Wait, Jake who, Paul? Who? Jake Paul, <laughs> yeah. He had, like, a scam. <laughs> it was probably clickbait. You're like, this yeah. is why I'm awkward. Oh, oh, oh yeah, no, it's 100% clickbait. Come on, do, do you know what the sad <laughs> yeah. thing is? Like, just... Just uh, saying that little fucker's name is giving him publicity on this podcast. Yeah, dude, why would you say God. that, man? <laughs> Yo, I'd rather promote PewDiePie, dog. Dude, you know? if there's anybody watching this podcast right now that just got curious about that kid's life, don't unsubscribe <laughs> from this channel. Instantly. You know, no, you know Please. what? I will say, I you will know what say, you hear. <laughs> I agree with you. Like, you know, you don't yeah. want to give him publicity and shit. But I gotta say, I respect his hustle, man. He's out there like every day putting out videos and stuff and like you know it might even be a, a fact of like he does all that cringy dumb shit because he knows it's going to get views and exactly. imagine the money that he's making off that you know exactly. like yeah, people he are does still dumb talking shit. about him right he's an idiot but i respect his grind you know i mean he's trying to fight yeah. everybody yeah. I, i'm i'm too old to respect him dude I yeah no him. so so i, I, I get him the time of day yeah, man. like that's <laughs> all i'm gonna say <laughs> yeah I mean, Yo, so talking about the sub boxes, though, all yeah. right, last thing I want to say on it, uh, back when I had like 8,000 subs on YouTube, I was playing this game, I think it's called, um, it was a scary game, it's not Amnesia. Slenderman? No, oh, that's uh, not Blue scary. Oni. That's just fucking Dude, that's scary. Dude, that scared me, man. That's yeah, nah, nah, that's scary. RuneScape 3. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. Um, Slenderman. I'm just kidding. Fuck, dude. <laughs> so I beat this game a couple times, right, and I played on stream, I got the lights off. And it's saving the past broadcast. So I'm thinking, you know, I'm not really going hard on YouTube. Maybe my YouTubers would like to see uh, this. So I'm thinking it will cut it up in like 30 minute sections. So what that happens is it uploads to YouTube 15 minute segments, 72 parts, hits the sub box all at once. <laughs> 
I wake oh, up dude. and I lost 3,000 subs and I have <laughs> oh, oh my god. I am so sorry. Uh, oh, wait, yeah. I, wait, wait, wait. How, sorry, how does that even happen? Because I've unsubscribed from so many people where my entire feed has just been their videos. But how does that happen? It was just uh, Twitch's automated upload system, I guess. Wait, you yes. upload to YouTube directly straight from, from Twitch. Twitch? That's what you no, yeah, for, you can do that time. Twitch, not yeah. not anymore. I edit yeah. the videos, but yeah, that, that was that I just was wanted to mistake. show them the you know the scary uh, stream. I thought it was good. Just Got one video. So you know. <laughs> lost three thousand oh, subs God. because of that. <laughs> overnight, so eight thousand. So that's thirty percent of my subs overnight. Yeah, that's <laughs> insane. Dude, that's painful. Oh man. my God, that's insane, dude. I, yeah. I'm pretty sure me. I'm pretty sure Mika did that on his second channel. Like this morning, I woke up to like a bunch of videos from Mika two seven nine. Did you press the unsubscribe? I'm just kidding. Don't tell me. No, I, I didn't. Simply because like I was like, oh, it's Mika. Those are just his uh, trash. <laughs> Those are just his trash dead man videos. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Uh, that I don't know. Be the roast. Maybe he didn't. Yeah, he uploaded six videos of like all of the fights in the recent. Day. Maybe it was intentional. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, only six, it nice. sounds like he meant yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. I the almost of, unsubscribed him. Almost. The <laughs> amount of views they're getting for just uploading anything dead man mode related is right insane. now. Yeah. Right yeah, now. Crazy. Yeah, going in. yeah, we oh, call this crazy. on the RuneScape YouTube the dead man mode fever. You know. I'm just sitting there on the <laughs> side getting real unrelevant, yeah. just like okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude, I, I I didn't upload an entire video this week. I've just been sat on clips. Yeah. Because like, what's the point? I, I'm just yeah, being honest. Exactly. Like, you, yeah, you shouldn't legit. upload when demo mode tournaments going on. I did. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I might have gotten hit a bit, which I. Uh, but, uh, yeah. I've pray gotten... to God if you do, there's not a sponsor in that. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> you ain't hearing from them again, man. Legit. Yeah. My uh, yeah. my favorite thing to do with like with the whole dead man views like popping off, I looked at uh, Mika's social blade the other day, <laughs> and you can see like exactly where the dead man times were because it's like, <laughs> it's like views yeah. obviously are huge during dead man, and then like other times it's just normal and it's like oh it's hilarious. Yeah. Also it solo is... mission too, like those two guys, they, yeah. They're, yeah. they're the dead man oh, YouTube dude, king. Solo right mission is gonna be a guy to watch out for. That's oh, I yeah, consider sure. him a rival. He's an absolute legend. He's yeah. going places, dude. He's yeah. Yeah. He, he, knows, not, he knows. He knows. He but... knows how to market, bro. This man. This yeah. man does the most caps I've ever seen. You know, in any video. As of now. As of now. <laughs> as of now. True, dude. That is true. I, I, I was like, I'm like, damn, bro. I feel bad just putting one cap. You know, this man's like, yeah, yeah. fuck it. Just, just a whole title. Cap it. I'm like, oh. I heard okay. you called uh, Solo Mission a neck reel when you were hosting the demo. <laughs> oh, yeah. Crazy. I, I did, man. I said a lot of stupid shit when I was <laughs> yeah, doing that cast. Yeah. And... I don't know I, if they're gonna get you again, bro. I don't know if they'll have you again. <laughs> I, I don't know. Maybe we'll see. Like, I'll be honest with you, right? All right. Should I, I was... show it? Uh, by the way, yeah, 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 yeah. That's uh, that's Mika's social blade. Right. You see where the dead man tournaments oh are? Oh my, <laughs> it's okay, crazy, right, right here, right? This, my shit. my guess is right here, guys. My guess is right here. <laughs> Wait, he was getting six hundred k views a day. No, no, no. That's the monthly views. Yeah, monthly. Oh right shit, those are okay. I thought I'm dumb. That's yeah, yeah. Oh, right. uh, and then right you. here, right here. Oh well, these are. J oh, this is monthly. <laughs> this is where it starts. Then obviously. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, dude. Yeah, you know, like see, you can't even see it anymore because it went right too high. Right over a million up. a week for it, a it went, that's, it went that's too high up, bro. You don't even see Crazy. what it's supposed to be. <laughs> yeah. Off the chart, man. Yeah, it was off the charts. <laughs> it's over yeah, thousand. Yeah. I'll be honest. For that, the the demo mode casting, like. Oh, I got so fucking nervous to begin with, man. Yeah. Like, it's so annoying. We were just sat there, and it was just like, we were all fucking shitting ourselves. And that's kind <laughs> of, it was kind of nice, because we all spoke about it. Like, Night and Eight was nervous, Ian was shitting his pants, and we were just sat there. How is he shitting like, his pants? Doesn't he do uh, it every he, year? <laughs> he's always up yeah, there, dude. Yeah, he dude, does it dude, four times Ian, a year. <laughs> Ian was literally shitting his pants. Like, at one point during the casting, <laughs> He he was just looking at me and he was pointing at his dick. And I was just looking at him and I was like, what the fuck's going on, dude? And we were trying to cast at the same time. And then he just got up and walked off. And I was just like, right. I was like, what's going on here? And I was just oh, like, oh, yeah, you told me about that. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. Holy crap. And then he came back and I was just like, when he came back, or just before he came back, Night and Eight was like, so Rexy, what did you think of those fights? And I was just like, I don't even fucking know what just happened. Like, I was just going off of like you know moment second by second reaction like i wasn't remembering what was happening oh, i was yeah. just going with the flow 
But well, like, that is dude. signal to piss, or yeah, he he had to go to the toilet. Okay, man. all right. He had to I go to the toilet. For that brilliant. I, yeah. I'll be honest. I I genuinely loved it, and I'd love to do it again. Except better. Um, <laughs> just yeah, I guess I guess better. I don't know. I don't know what I could. I I think I need practice when it comes to commentating the fights. I'll be honest yeah, with you. Yeah, it's just one of those things, dude. When it's a tank on tank, it's just like I'd rather oh. just sit there in silence and just be like <laughs> boring. <laughs> <laughs> this is boring as fuck. Like nobody wants to watch this. Yeah, yeah, I mean, how much leeway do you have for the commentary? Can you be funny with it, or do you have to make sure RuneScape Dude, looks good? I mean, yeah. all I'm gonna say, man, is I broke so many fucking terms Protocols. on my contract. It was unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, we got paid. I'll oh, be shit. surprised. Yeah, I'll no, be I surprised if I get asked back again. Put it that way. Yeah. But I don't know. Maybe we'll see. I, I'd, I like to. Good job. I'd like to. I'd like to. Thank you, man. They should Thank let you. people meme on there, dude. I, it would be great. The meme fights. I think Skidler was yeah. an amazing. Well, host. I miss Skid. Dude, I said to them afterwards, I was like, if you guys <clears> actually <throat> want RuneScape to do really well and get some crazy publicity, I was like, message Tyler1. Tyler1 likes old school RuneScape. He talks a lot <laughs> yeah. of good stuff on it. Yo, he get him is. here. Absolutely <laughs> clueless with Ian. To catch, <laughs> I said, hey, hey, fly him out here, oh pay him a hundred thousand dollars, sit him in front of her, and make him cast a demo tournament, and watch your game fucking explode. Oh, and like that, that really honestly, that would work. They'd have to yeah, pay him like hundred k though, right? Oh, I'll be legit, back in yeah. two seconds, boys. Okay. Right. Nah. Okay. Give him a couple extra <laughs> headsets to break. That'd be amazing. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, Get him some already good. pre-broken keyboards. I, t I was telling them when Skidler's up there doing the dead MMO, they should give him a couple keyboards to break because, you know, that fucker's dying at the DH Carol's combo. So he just <laughs> hit that shit up, and then all of a sudden you're a meme on Reddit. You get yeah. tons of people. That'd be amazing. Oh, <clears throat> yeah, so, yeah, so EVScape, um, with regards to your 180 days, you know, now that you're obviously not doing it anymore, like, like when you reflect back on it, um, did, would you say it was overall uh like really worthwhile for you you know what or did you learn um, anything you know about I yourself think i guess it was worthwhile yeah but i think that like i could have had a better <laughs> use of my time over the course of those 180 days so like i think what i was trying to get out of it i achieved but now looking back with new knowledge i could have spent those days better if i if i look back and i go well, what would i do I would have just stopped 30 days in after the hype died down. <laughs> then, you know, just continued on normal. But okay, okay. yeah, no, I like if I if I had the choice, I wouldn't do it again. Uh huh. But I, I don't regret doing it in the first place. Yeah, no, that's that's. Did really... you find time to do a lot of streams during that 180 days? Dude, I did no, not see sorry. him stream, bro. <laughs> yeah, I planned on streaming heaps, and then I streamed for like the first three days, and I was like, I can't play five accounts and, and read stream. a chat yeah, and think yeah. about like you know so yeah i just stopped streaming altogether yeah i haven't seen you on like a long ass time <laughs> yeah yeah because streaming is my main revenue and i swear i love editing my videos but i feel like i can never get enough time because of every hour i put in a twitch yeah so i just gotta yeah. rush those two videos out i could not do i don't know no, yeah, 30, yeah. no. i, I okay. like twitch a lot more because like my favorite part of the whole youtube thing is just like actually creating the content in the first place like i'm not a big fan of editing so like streaming is just like the, the best part without the worst part you know yeah you, you, yeah. you, you are the content you don't have to do anything yeah, beyond exactly. ending the stream you're done yeah exactly for sure yeah, yeah. i just hate titling and thumbnails it's a bitch yeah oh, that's my favorite part dude i love it you don't part. have to edit as long as you got that nice thumbnail and title yeah you know, the exactly. video just carries itself and i just edit exactly. i hate so I clickbaiting dude well. yeah it sucks it, I need you got it. You got to click there, you know. That's I, I the thing. That's, it. that's what I it is it. these days. It's like think I, about it. I want to like, be so. Now. I want to be real, but it's so hard to be real. These yeah, days. I, I literally so DM hard. my Twitch friends and YouTube friends like, "Hey, what should I title this video?" And some don't even <laughs> reply back. Like, fuck, dude. Like, I hit a solo. <laughs> hey, what, what's a good peer title name? No response. I'm like, oh, you There's fuck. Just oh. Yeah. yeah but like the th the thumbnail of your video is like, even if you've got like this killer video and you're like, it's the yeah. best video I've ever made. Yep. People don't see the content of the video until they decide to click on it in the first place. So if you've got a shit thumbnail and title, 
they're like, well, I'm, I'm going to click on someone else's video that has a good thumbnail and title. And, and then it's they, so you know, demotivating. Oh, yeah, it is. exactly, dude. Exactly. Yeah, but it There's is been times where I've just gone like, you know, this is one of the best videos I've ever made. I can't <laughs> wait. It's going to do so well. And yeah. then I just like, I spend four minutes making a thumbnail and just quickly come up with a title. And I'm like, oh, that's why the video did shit. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's always that lingering thoughts like, I could have titled this better. It's like, yeah. So, shit. <laughs> RuneScape had some new, I guess, updates with it. Not really too much. Should we jump into that, Ryze? Oh, yeah, yeah. What do you yeah, want to yeah, talk about first? The partnership stuff or actual in-game uh, updates? We could try to decipher the partnership stuff, I guess. I mean, I guess we already have. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, this is a real quickie. This is super quick stuff. Okay. So pretty much RuneScape's trying to uh, promote itself by not selling in-game items for money, but actually just promoting itself through different companies. Yeah. I, I describe it like this. You buy a bag of Doritos and you get like 10 bucks off six flags. They're going to be selling shit and then you get RuneScape membership, I'm guessing. Yeah, here's something they've already done. So um, maybe once or twice a year, they partner up with Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, well, if you have Amazon Prime, right? A, a lot of you guys do. Then you actually have Twitch Prime, which means... Um, uh, in Twitch, you can actually subscribe to someone for free every month. But in game, if you sign up through that deal, you actually get um, I think it was a month worth of free membership. It's either two yeah. weeks or a yeah. month, right? So it's you get two, it's two weeks, yeah. Yeah, two weeks. You get free membership, and also on top of that, you get some extra thing. Like I think they've released like a purple skin before, and yeah. then yeah. for the people that didn't um, get the purple skin through this offer, you can get it later. So in no way, shape, or form, only the people that signed up membership through that method was able to get it the purple skin everybody could get it later on so that's right, what they're so the way you're going with that dude mm. i thought you were just gonna be like yo come to twitch.tv slash right oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, if you do have that twitch prime yo, you got to have us on prime Hit okay up okay to be fair prime, these guys all have a twitch account so you can prime any of the, those nah, boys. prime up yeah. the rice dude you got to get that money for yeah. twitchcon dude yeah no, yes. don't worry about it don't worry about it man but it's all good so like that's the one thing they're doing they're gonna try to do that for more um websites i don't i don't know what other companies they're hitting up they didn't say well they should do it with youtube man because yeah. if it's on youtube i don't give a fuck oh yeah that'd be great YouTube, with YouTube. that'd be cool i'm telling you if runescape didn't have youtubers they wouldn't have runescape the amount of views we're fucking pulling right now oh, yeah. and then the amount of people it, playing yeah. runescape yeah it's gotta it's, be correlated yeah it's a shame that youtube's such a shit show because like yeah, right? jagex I don't know, man. I don't think yeah, they, you they know what hold it is? YouTube as high as what yeah. they do Twitch. Yeah, because yeah. you know what it they is? Don't, Twitch they don't is, understand. Twitch is big, but like just small enough that they can actually work together, whereas YouTube is way too high up there. And like they're, I don't think they're really even gonna try to bother, try to count how know? many views this tournament got from YouTube. All right, Bodhi uploaded it was what 180k per mm. vid, and you got Torvance to two to 300. Yeah. Solo over 100, 100 Mika 100, 100, Sears 100k a video. Um, all this shit in a week, mm. right? Because it was uploads daily. So we're talking 10 plus million views at least for RuneScape itself compared mm. to what Twitch. I mean, uh, well, they got Fortnite and Minecraft and shit. So that's kind of, yeah, hard but that, that, that's something that's really interesting because <laughs> yeah. I would like to know what the difference in views are. <laughs> Yeah, it, it threw kids on the toppled it. Platform, really. the, toppled it. The thing yeah. is, like, I don't know if Sickner had played in the tournament, but that dude plays like 16 hours a day. If you stream in like 10 hours of those, that's a lot of views. Yeah. For a stream. yeah. You can't just go off like the concurrent viewer shit. Yeah, like, yeah, if, yeah, let's totally. just say, yeah, the actual... I feel you there. <clears throat> but see, but the Twitch is a time in the tournament. Yeah. Is the end part right? Yeah. So RuneScape itself is streaming, and then you got I think Mika, which had they held a ton of views, right? 10, 20k, but only for a couple hours right yeah but then we're talking about daily uploads compared to that compared to like a couple hours of hype it's really good it gets runescape onto the number one page of twitch but only for a couple hours then you know no yeah. seasonal it dies down people are still uploading fucking tournament videos right now i, yeah, don't know. I, I, I completely you. agree with I, I agree with you i think that like the youtube viewership <clears throat> is like astronomically oh yeah it's big twitch it's, viewership. Oh, yeah. it's yeah. older too so there's a way more uh you know like veteran crowd going on I mean, yeah. if they do somehow make a deal with YouTube, they can promote their YouTube Red. You know, th they have that yeah. thing, subscription thing for YouTube. And then if Maybe. people have that, then they can get membership or something. I don't know. They could do that if if they were able to. Because I think YouTube is just such a big corporation, though, that you can't. Oh, like, yeah. <laughs> you know, like, Ooh. compared to the freaking Jagex, I don't know if they can get any leeway with that, but... 
But I know yeah. with Twitch, you know, they're uh, they're still up and coming. Twitch is still like kind of you know on the smaller scale. I mean, compared to YouTube, oh, yeah, at least on the scale. Killing it. Yeah, yeah, they they have a lot of stuff going for yeah, they're it. They're doing so it's much collaborations. Happening. Yeah. So yo, know, I don't know, is off topic, but so for Twitch, we have Doctor Disrespect, we have Ninja, all these guys. And they get treated like gods, right? And yeah. then what does YouTube have? I believe PewDiePie and how they treat him. <laughs> yeah, I mean they treat him a little better <laughs> now. <laughs> they didn't treat so, him so well in the past. <laughs> Big time. <laughs> I'm, I'm yeah. afraid I'm gaining loyalty. Yeah. Like, and it's not going to be for Yeah, yeah. Here. It's just too corporate. You, YouTube's too corporate. That's what it is. Like, we were having the discussion before about how, like, you know, our YouTube revenue is our whole life, but it's like absolutely nothing to the whole company, right? Yeah. Think about, like, Twitch, as you said, is still up and coming. And those people like Dr. Disrespect that gets, you know, hundreds of thousands of viewers sometimes that is massive for that company that's that's a huge percentage of the people that are actually on the site whereas like pewdiepie yes he is you know the biggest subscribe channel on youtube but he gets you know five million views a day which is nothing in comparison to all of youtube so like twitch needs to be more receptive to their bigger creators because it is a much larger percentage of their overall that's yeah. true that is very true yeah. that makes a lot of sense yeah, yeah. it's true yeah because like literally ninja alone kind of just probably brings in like a significant amount of people into their yeah. i'd imagine though if platform. youtube was more receptive to the bigger kind they of should creator, have man, they'd probably do a, a lot more than five mil right to, like oh yeah for sure YouTube yeah, stuff yeah. they're like dead or they don't get promoted very well yeah yeah uh, yeah youtube's just a different beast altogether man it's always it changing, is. dude. Why? Yeah. Fuck, oh, yeah. man. Let oh, me I, learn I, I, I wanted to talk about the algorithm, right? So, like, everyone's trying to understand what the algorithm is, but I don't think you can ever understand it because you know why? The algorithm's always changing. Always. Yep. So, so I mean, you think you know. I mean, even if you you know for sure that that's the case now, in a month, that's not the case anymore. It's changing. Exactly. Look, yeah. look at Ray Keys and Deep Wait. Thought. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm just thinking. <laughs> I, dude, I'm thinking like, do you think? <laughs> I mean, you you think they're just gonna create an algorithm? Wait, dude, I'm gonna on, lose dude. it, man. I'm Get gonna lose back, it. Bro. I'm gonna you say it. Do you think the reason why they don't tell us what the algorithm oh, actually definitely. does or how it works? Yeah. Wait, I've not even put my point across. One sec. Okay. Is that they they want it to be fair? Do you think that could be why? I yeah, yeah. think that they're not gonna tell not, you for obvious reasons. Because if they told you, well, yeah. you would exploit it. <laughs> 100%. Yes. So, so what I'm saying but, is, I, I know we, I know we complain about not knowing the algorithm, but yeah. surely it's a good thing because otherwise, yes. uh -huh. yeah. oh, 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 fuck yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's but like hiding also, poll results, you know. Good thing. Also, on that, it's like they could tell you one day, like this is exactly what the algorithm looks for. If you do all of those mm. things, you're gonna absolutely kill it. Yeah. And that's then the cheating. next day, it could be something completely different. Yeah. It's it's always trying to pick up new cues and like. Yeah. The idea of the algorithm is that it's like it learns itself what's going to get YouTube the most watch time. Yeah, you get and feedback. Yeah, yeah, I was, was going to ask: Is it deep AI thinking, or just? I mean, they Nobody probably knows. have all kinds. They probably <laughs> have all kinds of stuff. It's some I mean. floating being yeah. in like a chamber or some shit. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, mean, yeah. the the most obvious ones are going to be like the trending stuff, right? They're going to pick up cue off cues from trending things. I mean, at this rate, it it used to be about just anything right anything can happen with videos but now it's more about anything that's more clickbaity and more you know yeah like viral now it's well, all about that, virability it makes it that makes a lot of sense right yeah. because youtube wants people to stay it on their evolved. website it has evolved they're obviously yeah. going to promote things more yeah. that get clicked on more you know i think that's the underlying thing that the algorithm algorithm hasn't changed is the fact that it's just going for the trending it's just going for the virability yeah. and then everything in between they're probably tweaking it all the time you know yeah. From yeah, like, that's it. That's the entire yeah. point of the algorithm yeah. is to get people to stay on the website, yeah. and it it learns what gets people to stay on the website, yeah. and then targets that. See, the only thing about the algorithm being uh, not known but slightly known is that I I swear to God there were videos on it. I, I like to watch drama alert sometimes, you know, uh -huh. get that daily dose of <laughs> shitty shitty content, right? Uh, uh, talk about do, some stuff. daily dose of cancer, man. That's yeah, right. pretty much. It's so addicting. It's so addicting. <laughs> and um so they'll they'll talk about even pewds talks about that these guys will get on the recommended page or the featured page and there's no reason and they'll just call one of their buddies at youtube or, or they'll know no or they'll know more about the algorithm itself than most people do and they'll start a train or a trending train it's like oh this guy's doing this he's getting a lot of views so do you think that 
could be the reason why a lot of these shitty, shitty YouTubers are so big. It's because they have an in, right? And no one well, else does. They know how to go viral. That's that's why yeah, I was saying. They know how to go viral. Like Mr. They don't look Beast, smart. They don't look smart. You, you know what I mean? Well, you don't have you to be smart. smart. You don't have to be you smart. You have to be very you just have smart to, pick to go up, viral. I mean, you there's have there, to have something going yeah, on up here. There, there's there a there, I would say something. it's a different type of smart. You know what I mean? There's like book smart and then there's like street smart. They, they got you a got lot of street. You got the people light their farts on fire yeah. and they don't go viral. And then you got these guys, dude. Obviously, there's a fucking difference. They know something. I mean, I think they actually know how to tag, how to do like title their shit, how to get decent thumbnails going. Give me an example. You know, Who are you specifically talking about? Yeah, yeah. What are some like bad YouTubers? You know, that... see, my memory's just as bad as you, dude. All right. Yeah. You think I know my references here? I just, I just have things, and then okay. they come yeah. out, and because... I don't know. Dude, Dude if, if you're talking about like YouTubers that are already established celebrities in real life, such as no, like, Will, no, no. Will Smith, and like there's certain like news medias that are now on YouTubers' outlets, and they get heavily promoted and put into the top. The, yeah. Like. Let me just explain something. Like, they have had an issue with YouTube since like the early days, and it's only recently they've become more accepted. Like, Will Smith has like millions of subscribers on YouTube, but who gives a fuck? Everyone like, knows he's yeah. famous. That's old stuff. The only reason he's getting that is because YouTube have clearly made a deal with him. Like, it's black and yeah. white. There has been a trans. There, there's been a transfer of money between a those two people. Soul. Yeah, literally. I think like, it actually. It's it actually came out like not long ago like the trending tab you would see a lot of like late night shows like television clips and stuff on the trending tab which had tens of thousands of views when you know there's people getting millions of views that aren't on the trending tab and it, yeah, it came there might out be some... they are specifically selected the ones that yeah. go on the trending yeah, tab yeah, yeah. dude there, there have 100 percent been deals i expect the way that youtube have seen like opportunities such as will smith and believe me he's an opportunity he probably saw it like oh this is a in quotes, Raid Shadow Legend sponsor right here for this month. Let's, take it. Let's <laughs> yeah, throw him yeah, on the fucking trending so. page for a couple. Oh, of I've had another email, but I'm like, <clears throat> all right. Um, so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's that. Okay. What was I gonna say? Oh, so, fuck, I but, lost but, my thought. Like, but but, ser yeah. but seriously, dude. Like, I, I promise you, if it's like a news outlet that's like trending on the YouTube trending page, or if it's Will Smith or something, it's not because they've done something which is trending. Because there's loads of people that get way more views, like way more response, way more um, audience retention, etc. But they're not on the trending. Like there is something else which has happened. It just is what it fucking is. YouTube are aware of it. People aren't stupid. People realize yeah. that there's some shady back back alley deals going oh, definitely. on. Definitely, it is what it is. <laughs> it's just very it's shitty and it's a shame because you don't want to know the honest truth. What you said a minute ago about people setting their um, farts on fire and becoming viral. That's what YouTube used to be. Like that is what made YouTube special. That is what I was saying. YouTube... They don't go viral. Those right? were the golden ages, though. But like when they do, when they that did. was the golden ages, <laughs> dude. Think... When people would upload a video of like set apart apart or something like that, all of that stupid ass ass stuff. But it was golden back in the days. It's just a new and type God, of stupid, time, yeah. times have changed, man. It's sad. Like, <laughs> Rexy, really you is. sound like an old man. Yeah, yeah, back, yeah. In yeah. back in my <laughs> day. <laughs> Mate, I've been on I've been on this website religiously for the past twelve years. I haven't watched TV since I was a child because yeah. I watch YouTube yeah. every day. You wanna hear about somebody that like they don't have to worry about getting my and graphs and my attention to stay on their website? I watch YouTube videos all fucking day. Like, I don't stop watching YouTube videos all Yeah, day. you're, you're I mean, right, you're right. Television. You're right, you're I play, right. I play RuneScape, and I watch fucking YouTube videos. It's as simple yeah. as that. Yeah, you're right. So it's like, there's a lot of stuff that this website's done that I love, and a lot of things which annoys me, okay? Yeah. But bottom line, I'm super fucking addicted, man, and I'm not going yeah, anywhere. Yeah. Oh, by I the way, I just want them to sort their <laughs> shit out and be more honest. Yeah, 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 yeah. But like, end of the day, right? They're a company, and they got to figure out what's going to make them the most money. Yeah. And at some point, they've just gone right. People lighting their farts on fire. Yes, it's funny, but it's not going to make us the yeah, most money. Yeah, yeah. You can sell matches, you know. <laughs> so, any, anyways, this this topic this topic oh, was sorry, supposed to be about. I got one more thing to say though, yeah, because yeah, we're ahead. talking about the late night TV shows, right? And yeah, how they're kind of corrupt on YouTube. Pretty much, YouTube's trying to become TV. Well, apparently, you they can't are. run ads on. I don't know what would it be controversial, sad shit, right? Like a tower blowing up or somebody dying, some really sad yeah. shit. Well. Then you'll go to these late night TV shows who will be talking about that and they'll have ads everywhere, premium ads. Mm -hmm. And I think it was even shown that YouTube says, yes, they are the only ones who could run ads on 
controversial controversial shit right so i think the reason for that is that um they're more people, reputable i guess yeah they're more reputable so it's just like they know youtube know they're not going to upload a video and then say some you know horrible thing about whatever whereas other creators they say anything like remotely political like all political stuff gets demonetized like stuff like that yeah, okay, any type yeah. of you yeah know? but dude dude come on like don't be so blind man most news agencies have like a clear yeah, there's agenda. Bias. agenda oh yeah. no 100 of the time but what, what i'm saying is like youtube thinks that they're more reputable so yeah. it's like they're gonna be out on television to millions of people anyway they're mm. not gonna say anything that you know goes against a crazy world the conventional right. yeah the conventional that, that, that's a very interesting perspective although i completely disagree with it because okay. I, I think that when it comes to that old media, they have been trying desperately to like basically make a hold comeback. on. Yeah, they hold, have been yeah, making like a comeback. They've been, they've been trying to hold on to like being relevant for such a long time. Mm. I, I, I can guarantee, dude, a deal was made. They, yeah, it was. Like, it has been. Be, yeah, because it, I, I can oh, tell 100%. you, yeah, that yeah. there are a lot of like solo independent content creators that don't have any fucking bias whatsoever. They just tell the news as it is in black and white and they will get demonetized like the yeah. corporate companies which actually sell the news they pretty much bought their spot on youtube yeah like, yeah it, there's there's some pretty... partnerships for sure they're, yeah. they're, they're it, definitely yeah. Yeah. it could even be something along the lines of you know anything remotely political or if there's any sort of like travesty in the world that's automatically demonetized but these companies that have clearly struck a deal to be promoted are just automatically monetized no matter what yeah and how do you feel about that do you think that's right well i mean if everyone else is going to be demonetized then they should as well but at the same time if we think about it from the fact that if youtube wasn't around we're out of a job essentially i think most of us do this full time right so if youtube's not around we're out of a job we're going to go find something else and if youtube needs to do this to make money to stay afloat because as we said before they're running mm -hmm. at a loss if they need to make these deals, then go for it. Yeah, I, I mean, think it's, I think it's not it's not black yeah. and white, right? It's not black you, and white. Do you think, yeah. <clears throat> but do, would you not would you not think that if you were to flip it around, it would be better if everybody was monetized, and then by uh, popularity, whoever was the most popular would be the person that thrived in terms of killing it monetization. Because for sure. Well, we, so we, we can't do that. that video, yeah, we can't really do that we, though. We all know that if a video of a video has ads on it, it effectively yeah. gets pushed harder by YouTube because YouTube actually have like a reason to yeah, push so... it because there's money attached to it. <laughs> so, so what, what I'm yeah, saying is yeah. like, if if uh, an independent news creator or whatever you want to call it uploads a video on like some sort of tragedy, um, it, it's almost guaranteed to instantly get less views than say any fucking news outlet, which yeah. is like, which is known so okay, so right. rixi so they've already like i the reason why i would say they kind of have to go with the news media outlet for this type of stuff is the fact that they don't they can't trust you know what i mean an independent but, creator but how, dude, they how cannot can they trust, fucking trust yeah but how can they trust the news well how, because I don't it's, think it's about trust dude. it's just more mm. they're they're more acceptable they're more acceptable when evie says it's reputable i i kind of agreed in that way yeah. but that's a really yeah. a good cover because they're actually deleting a lot of his history videos for no reason and yeah, yeah you know any nazi propaganda but they delete the the history on it too so they're just yeah. taking away these things that they don't want to be shown uh and they're also only monetizing things that they only want to be heard so, so it definitely yeah, seems yeah. like they're pushing something and also you have direction. to you have to remember right the advertisements don't come from youtube they come from the companies right so the companies exactly. they they know what they want to put their ads on right and they've already had this point period where they have already realized that a lot of companies are really skeptical of just regular creators, right? So it's like, you know, conventional companies and conventional news, right? They they've always known each other forever at this point, right? So like that's yeah. what they trust. That's where they can. They're way more place. comfortable yeah. working with yeah. them. Yeah. Um, All right. Just so you know what I'm on, saying? It's about it's about yeah. like reputation. On, that's what the reputation comes from, right? On Rakesy's point, where yeah. you're saying yeah. wouldn't I don't be agree with like, it necessarily, but they have to yeah. do it because they've they've already had this issue where they've almost lost a lot of most of their big prize advertisers because some some yeah. dude literally wrote an article saying how like they they placed a, a freaking coca-cola ad or something on like a video on a random person's video that was swearing like racist stuff 
That's literally all yeah. started. That literally that one article basically almost single handedly killed off their entire revenue stream. Yeah, yeah, that's insane. But yeah, um, yeah. back to Racy's point where you're yeah. saying that wouldn't it be better off just like whoever is actually doing the best does the best would make the company the money, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If if they've got you know 150 videos on this one thing, and then one of those people has said i'm gonna give you this much money to make sure my video does the best they get that money plus all the money they're gonna get from the ads anyway so it just makes so much more sense to take the extra money if that makes sense yeah so like it, it oh. would be nice it's it's nice to be like oh yeah everyone should have a fair go i would but say day, like i would say there's an extent to how much freedom we're allowed to have right on, on an online platform i feel like there has to be some sort of limitation right so that I, I think this isn't the worst type of censorship or like rear prioritization of content from you know certain creators well it always starts off as something right yeah you know, yeah, know, yeah. <laughs> I, I feel like i feel like so. we're not at the worst point of censorship on youtube but um, yeah. I, I feel like different aspects of content right. has been censored, dude, though. Dude, dude, here is a completely yeah. different angle to hit this yeah. at then. Um, what what if they were to make it anything which is news-related, controversial, even in the slightest, or demonetized without a second thought? They're regardless, getting there, regardless of whether it's a solo independent YouTuber or if it's a massive corporate company such as, like, Fox News or whatever you guys have out in America, right? Yeah. Regardless completely demonetized okay I, I i think that would be kind of interesting in a sense to see as you know that's a stupid thought process well mm. yeah because then they wouldn't do uh, it anyways <laughs> dude, no, no, the no, yeah. they're annoys there. me man the whole yeah. thing annoys uh, me though yeah anyways it's uh, yeah. it's annoying because it's Yo. not it's not fair it's not within if your it control, was fair yeah. If it was fair and easy, everyone would do it. So, dude, yeah. everybody makes a YouTube account the same fucking way. It's like you literally go onto Google, make your account, link it to your YouTube, and it's like, congrats, you can upload your own personal <laughs> videos and become creative with your shit. And it just annoys me that there are these like companies, like these massive news companies, they go through the same process and then they post shit, which is like, it ain't them. It's like fucking a hundred people throughout their company. Yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a, a company you know what, production. You know what annoys me to those fucking Twitter accounts that try to be hip? Holy fuck. Have you heard of those? No, fucking what? Walmart <laughs> posting the moon pie. Yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> and Wendy's are trying. Yeah. The only guy I like guys, is man. Elon Musk on Twitter, okay? Yeah, but he's, he's not a, a company. He's just a dude. Well, he, he is the he owner of a big ass company. <laughs> oh yeah, but he's in representative. And he's a weave, dude. See, that's why I like, cause he's he's real, you know. But you'll get like Denny's posting to fucking Carl's Jr. about and, like, shit, when, and yo, they're like Wendy's. friends, and people are shipping it like they're fucking. You know what I mean? Like this is a thing, <laughs> and they, it's like oh, yeah, dude, it's called to, personification. Yeah. because they're fucking Carl's Jr. and I yo, like that. Uh, um, I like, used. Oh shit, my bad. What the freak, you man? I, 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 Death Rider? What it's the fuck is that shit? Dude, Hell's Angel is nearby, dude. No joke. No joke. Uh, uh, anyways, well, I would I call that. I hate this shit. Though, yeah, corporate. It's exactly like the yeah, YouTube stuff. Yeah. It's the corporate personification. Right, I mean, that's you, what you I call it. You already know Reeves, the fucking leader of that game. I'm not, dude. <laughs> no, they, they, <laughs> always, they, they always bike around during the summer, dude. I feel their exhaust heat already, dude. It's freaking. Yeah, dude, he's cool. trying to play it off with his little weeaboo pictures in the background. What are you talking about, dude? This thing we don't. Come on, this is some real shit. He's wearing like leather fucking chaps right now. What? I looked in his closet when I was over there. I saw the outfit. I saw oh, the outfit. Jesus. Yeah, anyways. Yo, you know we're so off track. This was talking about uh, partnerships. We're just going to comment this video. Oh, by the way, yeah. So YouTube's fuck ups. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, so they're saying anytime we're going to offer extra rewards for these partnership promotions, they're gonna do stuff like uh, house themes for Mauritania, Goblin Good City, yeah. Ar Arceus House, Lydia, whatever. They're, so they're doing those things. So you, you can vote on it. They'll tell you what the uh, rewards are gonna be. And remember, they're not gonna be limited time. Everyone will eventually get them. So yeah, yeah. that's fine, dude. I've yeah. always said uh, when I've been like at Jagex or to any RuneScape related thing, uh, so long as whatever you're bringing into the game, you can get for free eventually. If that's the case, but if people want to get it early, they have to buy it. I'm just like, I literally don't care. Yeah, so so they, this isn't even about buying. This is just partnership stuff, right? So it's like, yeah. unless you already have the membership from that uh, partner. Like, if it yeah. was YouTube Red, it'd be like, unless you already had YouTube Red and you're connecting to right. a but, partnership, but you don't I'm, get anything. 
Yeah. What I'm saying is, so long as you don't have to spend any real money at all, and you can still come out with the same outcome, which is getting whatever those people are purchasing. Yeah. Whether it's like a, it's... a, a bonus from Twitch Prime, as long as you can get it eventually for free without yeah. paying any real money, yeah. I'm fine with it. Uh, it's, yeah. it's membership. You have to be a member. So yeah. you have to pay for the membership, obviously. Yeah, but yeah. you know but... that's standard, right? But yeah, I'm yeah. saying uh, obviously uh, no. Uh, I'll make sure it's just cosmetic stuff. Make sure it's not XP. Make sure it's not stat in you know in giving items and stuff. That no, you know never. What company you're not gonna be branding with condoms. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all the little kids that play. Um, you get yeah. Trojans. You get a free month of RuneScape or something. <laughs> yeah. No one's <laughs> feels bad. Dude. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I think what are some companies that they could partner out with really? I think they'll uh, like lotion. they'll end up. <laughs> <laughs> i think they'll end up uh partnering with like um like computer companies like yeah like mice and keyboards and yeah, shit. yeah 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 you get they're you partnering any... with like titan no. 20 you know 10 so <laughs> so it'd be like hey if you buy this mouse any of these mouse you get free membership for two weeks <laughs> Yeah, and then they can like they can just come out with it. Like they've got the Warcraft mouse mat, you know. They oh, can partner yeah. up, partner up with that. a company and be like, let's bring out some, I don't know, theater of blood keyboards or whatever, you know. Dude. Ah, oh, okay. It, it, huh. If Jagex bought out like some limited edition trading cards where you could get like I don't know, random as fuck, Chronicle? like Cowfight Queen or Dagonoff Prime on like a shiny card. <laughs> I'd be all over that shit, man. That's yeah, because you're already all over Pokemon cards. This man yeah. started bringing up Pokemon cards <laughs> into a podcast. Ten minutes he's talking about how they rate them, all right? No, it's this great. Man loves it's cards, great. bro. Dude, I, honestly, they should do it, man. Like, make it so you get some Pokemon cards. Or, not Pokemon cards, RuneScape cards. You got, like, cards. a little I know, whip be doing trading it. weapon. Fucking, I don't know, dude. Yeah, it'd be amazing, man. Like, I genuinely love to do it. Why yeah, not? Yeah, just do a Yu-Gi-Oh! version. like a board game. You got to roll for RNG and shit, you know? Just, oh. Uh, yeah, okay. be... <laughs> 50, hey, man, 50. Wait. Jagex are going to be coming out with like their equivalent to League of Legends uh, chess next. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, half, half, half stone and shit. Don't do no, it. Be, that, that's going to be another be, few be getting, million like, down the toilet. Primes and stuff, and you can like level them up into like an ultra and stuff like that, and then a mega. I think there was a, a RuneScape channel that made uh on youtube they made these videos about different runescape related things that jagex has uploaded like different card games and like phone spin-offs and all this dumb shit and there's actually a ton all they them, tried yeah. so all much to failed, market dude. runescape yeah, yeah. they fucking blew ass yeah everything. They, they wasted a lot of money trying to make those things work um let me yeah. let me tell you i mean oh, i respect no. them for trying but the thing is is that i don't dude. think they planned it properly <laughs> I mean, bless them, man. It's yeah. like, even if they fuck all of their marketing up, at least they have a game that we will love. Yeah, <laughs> yeah at least they got this one cash, yeah, two yeah, cash yeah. cows, really. Two cash cows. Like, they, they literally have to fuck up so astronomically for people to stop playing. Yeah. You know? And they've already done it once. They brought everyone back. They're surely not going to do it again. Hopefully not, because I don't think three strikes and you're out, you know? Let me see if that rule exists yeah. or this, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. Uh, the Song of Elves update. Should I was just roasting on? this, right? Because you, were. Okay. you know how everyone hates Black Dehyde right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then they come out with the Black Dehyde Shield, <laughs> right? Uh, oh, that was a while so ago. So everyone's though. hating yeah. the Crystal ago. Shield for main breeding because it's fucking horrible. And next thing you know, they're coming out with a whole city about Crystal. So <laughs> it's a trend, man. The uh, I'm pretty sure the Crystal Armor is actually pretty shit. Yeah, uh, you don't want to be uh, ragging with this. Yeah. Don't worry, we'll be clarifying. Yeah. 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 Yeah, actually, Eevee Escape, you do a lot of PVM, so, you know, I think you, you, we definitely can uh, do some good good old reading and analyzing on, on this stuff. I, I've already gone through some of this myself, but... Uh, you want our guest to read out the fucking page, bro? <laughs> um, no, specifically, like, feedback. I mean, this this um, this um one is pretty interesting. Yeah, you want to do our work for us, bro? <laughs> I'll but, yeah, you boys, don't worry. I'll, I'll, let, I'll let you get in in a bit, but, like... So they even had like a sneak peek of the development uh, side of things. They even talk about the difficulties, you know, from different creator, uh, different people in charge of this update. But we're not gonna talk about that. You can read that on your own. Uh, but let me see where the actual items and stuff are. Oh, is this? That's no, a lot. That's dude. it. It's not another fifty-two page document. No, this isn't the one that I'm looking for. It's this. Um, it's no, not the sure progress it, blog. No, no, it's the it's an updated one because this one's just talking about them working on it and not the actual 
updates themselves. Oh, we haven't gone over it though. I mean, but I what is there to really change. go over about besides? Because like this is just them yeah. explaining how they're doing the work. So, oh, is it just kind of, okay? Yeah, they're not. They're not actually talking about the actual updates themselves. Because I don't think we actually talked we... about the actual updates in before. Um, I think this. It's one of the these. only thing that's new is the um, PVP update up there. The armor I guess, and stuff. For the that world we uh, talking about the armors? Nope, this isn't it. Just go through it, man. All right, Dude, we haven't hit this up. Let's get in there. What are we looking for right now? We're, I'm, looking for actual, <laughs> I'm looking for the actual. I'm looking for the actual Elf City. You're like the months and years, man. Just nah, get it's not there like anymore. Okay, never mind. So it's the new up. stuff. Yeah, I never mind. There's, there's, uh, yeah, there's, there's nothing new then with the uh, Elf City stuff. Then uh, I must have been mistaken because uh, I thought well, there was an I, actual. I can tell you this, man. My dragon axes went from 100k each. Yeah. I sold them earlier for 60k each. They dropped 40k. <laughs> in, like, two yeah, days, people man. are merching them oh, for the new crystal, sorry, buddy. crystal axes and stuff. That that it will yep. be used with it. And I sold the tab earlier today, so I got fucked for like 400k, man. I'm really upset. Dude, yeah, you'll never make yeah, that. Yeah, I hate day. to say it, dude. Yeah, I hate to say it. <laughs> Not four hundred k, man. All right, well, I, I guess we can go over some of the images, you know. So this is right. their projected new landmass for uh, once Elf City dude, comes that, out. That looks like a place that I'll actually go to because it doesn't look mm. as complicated as Zaya. Like it that looks. looks yeah, so it's a lot smaller <laughs> than Zaya. This and is like a port. Like yeah, but you up north port? of it. Yeah, as a port to the left, you can get. I'm not there. sure what, what's, what's gonna up? be north of this. There might be a quest it's area. A, Who knows? Gwenif, dude, that's new, right? Yeah, yeah, it's not there. This entire thing is not, has not been there. Like this thing's empty, obviously, in the original game, and this part, yeah, it, it's not there. Um, there's also a hunter area right here. Oh yeah, uh, what, what uh, you on catch the, there? Crystal the birds or some shit? No idea. They didn't say. <laughs> they, it didn't explain it. Out, yeah. <laughs> Crystal birds. <laughs> Okay. Uh, it's good, man. I like there's that. oh you no, like there is gonna be there's gonna be crystal implings coming in the game. Maybe yeah. that's that. Yeah, maybe. I think it would be roaming around, around the city though. I think it'd be more so roaming around the city. This might be more right. chins or something, you know, over there. Yo, crystal man, that, chins, that was dude? amazing, man. I love that, dude. Crystal, oh, crystal birds, crystal <laughs> yeah. chins though. That does make sense. Yeah. I mean, crystal birds does as well. Uh, so Very the two biggest piece of content is gonna be uh, Solcano and the Gauntlet, right? So the Gauntlet is going to be that PVM style mini game. Uh, it's somewhat it's somewhat similar to Dungeon Dragon because it's gonna be a generated uh, map and you have to like clear it and beat the boss and get the reward type of deal. And then Sokano is the uh, I think they scroll down here. Sokano, no, this is not it. Sokano, where's the Sokano boss? Oh, there it is. This this is the Sokano boss. Whoa, they're gonna be making so, some hentai about that. So Look this is um, <laughs> this is like the next Winter Todd. It's skilling. I think it's for mining. I believe. Oh. Did they have there's to make few, it that There's a few though? different ones. I think it's like mining, crafting, yeah, and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mining, crafting. Um, there's like three skills involved for this mini game, But yeah, it's a, it's a skilling mini game. And over here in this picture, it is the... I need to scroll up because... This is a, a sneak peek of the uh, gauntlet here. Sneak peek. But I believe it's auto-generated, right? So, you know, it's going to be a little different every time. So, is it like a skilling mini game? Uh, well, so Kano is a skill minigame. The Gauntlet is not a skill minigame. That's a PVM, dangerous PVM minigame. Similar to Dungeoneer. Sick, man. Yeah, so... Why did they add a skilling minigame? Did the skillers complain? I want uh, another I creed. I guess, I mean... Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I have nothing against skilling minigames, but I, I just hope it's not like Winter Todd when it first came out, because that shit was broken. It was insane. Okay. It probably oh, is. Yeah, it was insanely OP. Um, I, I'm guessing it's gonna be a bit more rewarding because you have to actually do the quest to get to this mini game this time, so it'll be a bit higher probably. Oh, I see a I see a crystal unicorn over there. I didn't even notice that. But yeah, there's gonna be like some crystal versions of monsters. I guess that's what you have to fight. Uh, and this is one of the things you will encounter is a crystalline dark beast. And this is the boss. This is the final boss, I believe. The final challenge. Oh, dude. What, what's that Pokemon called? This like the legendary Suicune? dog. Raikou? Yes. Oh, yes, Suicune. Suicune. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is like Suicune. Yeah, it looks yeah. just like it, man. Did you just call him Saikun? Oh my God, right? <laughs> Saikun. Lay out the mirrors, buddy. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah, old the, school, man. The crystal I'm hunt school, lift, man. right? So obviously you can get the pet from that as well if you're interested. In oh, there's a little pet. doggo pet. Sweet. Yeah, it's probably like the, hella rare, though. That, so. that elite pet, or what is the master 
dog pet? That thing. Oh, you're talking about the blo uh, you know, bloodhound pet? Ugly as fuck, dude. Yeah, it is. Oh, bloodhounds are ugly. But they're, you know, but that's what makes it cute. Dude, <laughs> yeah, I, I'm gonna enough. I'm gonna like promise myself right now that when this content comes out, I'm gonna go there on the very first day and explore it because you better. <laughs> oh, there's so as soon as new content comes up, I'm just sick of seeing it all over my timeline, mm. and I just never go there myself because I feel like I've already seen it, and I just don't yeah. go for months. Yeah. And then I go there, and I'm just like, oh, this place is pretty cool. I wish I knew about this earlier. You know? Some of the uh, some of the best fun I ever had in RuneScape was when Dragon Slayer 2 came out, doing that on release day, because like you don't know where to go, there's no guides, like just trying to figure it out yourself. That's so much yeah, fun. Yeah, that's what I do. I'm trying. I I'm think it was like me and Rank 10 Ultimate Iron Man or somebody back in the day, and we were trying to do that monkey pit or whatever the fuck it was, the big old panels or the what do they call that? Monkey uh, Madness 2. Oh, is that not Dragon's? Oh, Jesus fucking Christ, my bad. All right, Mon Monkey Madness 2. <laughs> <laughs> They're all the same, bro. Wait, wait, wait who's dude. been drinking tonight? <laughs> he just yeah, later him. tonight. All right, I gotta. Um, so we were doing it, and we kept fucking up, and we spent two hours first day trying to do that damn panel thing, and apparently we missed the first bomb. So we would go upstairs, search all around that, get knocked down the first floor, go back up there again. And somebody yeah. goes, for fuck's sake, and walks me to the first one. And I'm just so angry. Oh. Yeah. I spent like that was four not a hours on it. The that first... was a fucking shit memory. Oh. Yeah, dude. I tried to do the quest without a guide. It, it worked, but it took me like seven hours <laughs> or something. How'd you do the puzzle without a guide? I couldn't do that shit. Which puzzle? The one on uh, Dragon Slayer 2. Oh, yeah. That took me like three hours. Two hours without a guy. Wait, wh which puzzle? Which one? The map when you have to despite decipher the map to go to the island. I looked at it and I said, "I'm not smart enough." For Yo, this shit. I, it I'm took me like yeah, it took me two to three hours, man. And I was stuck on the last panel for thirty minutes. All I had to do was shift the shift it a different direction. Everything was in the right spot. It just one of them wasn't in the right orientation, uh, and I spent thirty okay. minutes. Trying to like see if there's anything that looks out of the like weird. It looked weird, and oh, yeah, thirty minutes for that one little tile, dude. I was like, yeah. Speaking of AIDS, what is this? Dude? That's gonna what be a puzzle, fuck? dog. You oh know, light. God. Come on, elf, elf quest, light puzzles. Let's get it. Fucking I might have to use a quest guide. Three. Yeah, I might. Yeah. I might need a quest guide for this. To be honest, I'm not dude, sure if I have the balls to do this. Fucking gross guy. looking. This is. I hate this shit. No yeah. one likes it. But oh. if you do it and you beat it without a guy, you you can rep it. You can like you know sh swag off with that. Tell people you know, and I mean so no one's gonna ask. Let's, no one's gonna dude, ask. No one, gives, no one gives a shit, man. Like they're not gonna believe it. <laughs> yeah, I would do it for myself. I would do it for myself, anyways. I want I want to see if I can like, do it by myself. Yeah, we'll see. Oh, dude. This is why we love you, Rayman. I'll try. So you can't, you can't, <laughs> <I'll try. laughs> you can't stream it without a guide because Twitch chat's so I'm fucking not, mean. I'm not, I'm not streaming this shit. The whole time. I'm not going to stream this. Look at this, this dumbass. Do do do. Yeah, no, I prefer, I've done Dranslayer 2 mornings and no, I didn't stream any of that. I just did, I, I mean, Monkey Madness 2, Dranslayer 2. I just did it all without the guides. It was so fun. It was actually really fun. I got so many foreheads doing that shit day one. Don't do it. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to have to. I'm going to have to because I don't want to do it day two. Fucking. And then people be like, oh, you don't have this quest done, 2019. <laughs> Fucking Twitch chant, dude. Right. Yeah, that's a Yeah, but they didn't talk about the actual content content. You know, like the, the I saw one of the J mods saying they're gonna test the puzzle. I'm guessing that was it. And she goes, Alright, wish me luck in ten hours. Yeah, and everyone's like ten hours. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? Apparently the Gauntlet has already had some play tests with some actual players and they said uh, it was mostly positive. Although I'm not sure if they, you know, they were told to say that, to be honest. No, but, uh, no, yeah. no J-Mod still had an Inferno kit, but they made the content. You know what I mean? It, it, mm. Just saying. Yeah, That's yeah, good, yeah. though. Yeah. Like, if, if a J-Mod had the Inferno kit when they released it, I would have been like, this is going to be shit. This yeah, gonna be it's going to be easy. <laughs> yeah. I didn't say release, but I mean, like, now they still now they don't do. have one? No, no, they There's do. like they three do. people that do, yeah. Do. Really? Wow. Yeah, yeah which they add, see, here's like the that, deal. They've, because... they've added a few J mods. I don't even know who they are, but they have Inferno Capes, though. Yeah, hmm. but like, the thing is, you, you don't really want the mods to be able to do the content because yeah. we play RuneScape all day. We're supposed <laughs> yeah. to be good at it. Wow. They just work on the game and they don't. They probably don't get much free time to actually do content. I, I think there's a. I mean, I can see where you're going if you want really challenging shit. Yeah. But yeah. just get Wooks to design it. Speaking also. of the wilderness, man, <laughs> none of them PK, but they make the content for it. Yeah. 
it doesn't make sense, right? Same well, thing you need some PK an insanely feedback, challenging yeah. boss that they can't do. You want to you get you got to put in some professionals here if you want some really well, good work. Like, you they know, did beat the final boss, they did, which is good. Um, yeah. You know, fly yeah. some people out because yeah, you know, they should I be doing, doing the shit they make that. for P. At least for I mean, the uh, for the gauntlet, yeah. they actually asked P. Uh, they actually invited players to test it and get get feedback from it. You know. Uh, they have done that for quite a lot of content. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they've done that. Infernal too. They did. They, that as they well. have. Yeah, uh, uh, they I'm just it, saying that you want them to, stuff, to they know what it. they're making content for. You know. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, I, I think I went, they do it way, after I, though. They do it after or middle in in progress. They get people to test it out and then they like finish it. Yes. They polish it up with feedback. That's what it is. I remember. I remember going for the uh, the Warcraft testing uh, when Dragon Star Two was like before it was released. And you know, Warcraft shoots shoots that massive ball in the air that one hits you. Right. Yeah. So uh before they'd actually released it into game, it did like eight fucking damage. And I had a J I can't remember which J what it was. They were sat they were stood behind me and I was killing the boss and it shot the ball up in the air and I didn't even bother moving because I knew it only did fucking eight damage. And he was like, Oh you gotta move, you gotta move and I was like, No, I don't, it does fuck all damage. <laughs> and it just hit me for an eight. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I was like I was like that ball, <laughs> like if you genuinely can't move in time. You have to fucking die. You're that bad yeah. in the game. It should fucking one kill. It should one shot you. It takes like five seconds to get there. So you're the reason so like what? a shit ton of hardcore Iron Man are. Yeah, I was about nice. to say the same thing. I, I was think, like, that's your fault, dude. I, I think most people I that's the gambling gun, dude. dude that's I wasn't. I wasn't the only person that said yeah. it, mate. But there yeah, was yeah, yeah. like it was. It did like nine. It was eight or nine damage when it first came. Oh out. Like there was Lord. no point in even moving. It's like you'd get more DPS. DPS out just to <laughs> DPS. <laughs> DPS. <laughs> hey, I'm swearing my words, man. Yeah. I like this one. I, this one's good. Before and after, by the way. Yeah. I don't see a difference. Um, was... Look, oh, okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You gotta be patient, dog. There you go. It looks really cool, man. Yeah, I like it. It actually like does. It. Yeah. Like um, that, it doesn't look too overwhelming. That's good. Like, it actually that's what I want. Yeah. That's what I want to yeah. see. This is like the. It's got to be like the most exciting thing for like actual old old players because yeah, because it's like never, finally. It, you, it's like oh, I wonder what's inside there. It's yeah. everyone's fucking question, you know. Yeah. And they played RuneScape three. Well, yeah, yeah, I know what's inside there, but not for the old school version. <laughs> but to to be fair, for RuneScape three, it's pretty cool. Yeah, right? it really because, is. Like, like, you have you have to be maxed to go in there. Well, like, that's that's, that's like the, the max skill. If you want to go to the max skill, you have yeah. to be max. But L City Wait, in you have uh, to do the street. quest yeah. to get in there though, like yeah. the L, the new oh, the ten yeah. hour puzzle. Fuck my god! Well, you're gonna have to do at least the underground pass. I don't know about the yeah, other. Yeah, you have to do like four other quests after that. To mm. do, to but you don't have there. to do like the main like. No, you do. Like, so. you do. You do. It's crazy you do. requirements. You do well. all of it. It's the requirements. But put restrictions on having fun there. Let's make a fat city that looks great. Yeah, because shit quest. Ain't no neutral out, dog. Always effort. Fuck, man, just this... take my eleven dollars. Get me in that goddamn no, city. No, 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 no. <laughs> City's not for shit. low level players. I'm sorry. It it stays oh, that. Dude, oh, it's been low. That means that city's gonna be very dead. Well, it's gonna be the high no, level no players. Way. Hot, I'm hot, dead. You know, no, no. This is where all the high level players know. would chill. Do you see a lot of people at like the MM2 guild? The there is no MM2 guild? guild. What the frick? Sorry, what are you talking about the Dragon Guild? I, I go there. It's like dead. Oh no, no, there. people don't hang out there because it's like it's not a city, you know. The, there's like nothing to do there, dude. You can yeah. buy like mythic okay, okay. capes. That's pretty much it. <laughs> <laughs> it's where people go to do cooking, though. That's the closest yeah. Yeah, yeah, to a rest. Yeah. I, do you know what? When I completed Dragon Slayer two, I bought twenty seven mythic capes. I've never gone back to that place. <laughs> never. Yeah, yeah. Elf City. I actually really um, like that little area, but it, yeah, it's dead. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I don't I don't know if it's gonna ha be a, a hot spot because there's no I don't see a GE I don't think there's a GE. I just want all of it PVP zone enabled right when you enter. Just start doming people. Yeah. They should. How, how would you guys feel about it if they put a grand exchange there? Well, because, like, I, people I, hated I it. I'd like that. Yeah, I don't know why people hated it. I, I think they gave mind. a reason why they. I think they gave a reason why they literally couldn't do it. But I, I can't. I could just. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I just remember a lot of people saying they don't want it because then it'll like separate all the players. Like the high levels will go here, obviously, and the low levels will go to Barak. Yeah, That's but, very true. Yeah, but nobody talks at the Grand Exchange, man. Well, they the talk shit. Talk, the only people that talk at the Grand Exchange are people that are trying to get you to go to their YouTube for a free 200 bill, people that are trying to hack you, and people that and are trying money. to fucking lure you. There's free <laughs> oh, guys and people Jeff. that talk at the Wait, G no, you also forgot about yeah, the shit talkers. 
the armor trimmers, dude, the yeah. doublers. No, there, there's, all, there's always a few dude, shit talkers. I, in, in I like, genuinely dude. can't remember the last time I went to the Grand Exchange and said, said, like saw anything remotely positive. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, shit talkers. It's <laughs> garbage, man, bro. Yeah. It is. Uh, my, yeah. my favorite moments of the GE are when I rock up and someone's like, yo, EV skate. I'm like, hey, man. They're like, your videos are shit. I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> perfect. I'm like, that's why I come here for it. Yeah, like, that was all, actually. Dude, hey. All I see at the GE is like, search my YouTube for a free 200 yeah. deal. It's like, that's all I fucking see, man. Hey, guys, yeah. if you ever want to stay humble, but you feel like you've lost your way, you become too egotistical, go to the GE and get a, you know, <laughs> Smackdown. Yeah, quick. knocked down. Yeah. The first time, the first time <laughs> I actually got recognized in game, back when I first started making videos, I was so excited because this guy's yeah. like, EV escapes, you make videos. I was like, yo, hey man, yeah, I do. And he just goes, kill yourself. <laughs> that was the first time I got recognized in game. Oh my God. Dude, my viewers dude, are so nice, I'm sorry. Why? Why, why is that, dude? Like, why? It's just, I feel like it's just the culture, man. Like yeah. everyone's so toxic in RuneScape. Yeah, there's it's not, it's not it's PKers, it's not PVMers, it's not fucking skillers, it's literally everyone. Yeah, it's just everybody, honestly. Hey, I, I'll tell you what, if, like, if you look at my, my Discord, my, uh, my Twitch, or anything which there's like a rank structure, all of my top admins and like uh, moderators, they're all people that were fans of me when I had like a thousand subscribers on YouTube. Yes, like, yeah, that's, that's the coolest know. experience, meeting people that yeah. have watched you for years. Yeah, dude, that's like my my mods and admins, like they're genuinely like family, dude. I've known them for yeah. years, you know? Yeah, yeah. I would say I've been annoyed well. though, kind of, because yeah. I've been streaming for almost six years and I'll ask somebody who hasn't watched me since like the first two weeks of stream come and go, dude yeah i've been watching five years ago i'm an og i'm like where the fuck have you been dude you can't just come in and try to get like you didn't do anything you just watched the stream for an hour five years ago come back what's up bro remember me oh no not oh, those guys no 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 do you remember me yeah okay like, I've, not... had, I've had a few of those people but I they're usually because they're like yeah. trying to get mod yeah and doing nah, their I, I don't i don't i don't like know. look at this guy oh. Shut the fuck up, dude. That's rare. You didn't do anything. That's pretty rare. I mean, usually if it's like an old time boy coming through, I'll know it's them. I'm like, oh shit, yeah, I've seen your name in like years, dude. Where yeah, have you been? Yeah. Like, that's usually there's how it goes. Definitely and then there's a few it's people. It's like the dad who left yeah. you to go yeah. get cigarettes and he comes back 18 years later. Yeah, and he oh, actually no, comes boy. back. He actually comes back, you know. Give me a hug, dude. Oh, you know? Okay. Yeah, there's a few oh. people that'll be like, they'll talk to you one time like two months ago and they'll be like, Hey, remember me? You know, I'm like, yeah. and I don't want to be that guy that's people. like, of course I don't, bro. I Who are like, you? Do you, you know, remember but... me, motherfucker? <laughs> Mint Man Cap, the guy you didn't watch for ten years. Yeah, <laughs> Dude, yeah, Mint takes it more personal, but I feel it too. Oh. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, people are like, you're such an asshat. I'm like, how am I supposed to remember you? Yeah. How am I gonna remember? Oh, yeah. You? Yeah, no, like literally, if you talk to me probably like ten times in a week, I'll remember you for at least two months, no problem. If you talk to me like more than ten times. Throughout many weeks and months, I'll remember you like forever, honestly. How long to yeah. get in your pants? I don't know. No idea. It's never gone that <laughs> oh, far. You don't even need to speak to him 10 times yeah. to that. You just yeah. look at him. You know what I mean? Instantaneous. <laughs> One wink and I'll be in baby. Just kidding. Yeah, but it, it, there's so many people you have to interact with. There's so many, so much memory yeah. you can store. Oh, you know, dude, no, I remember people. all my oldies. Oh, oh yeah, all the OG, man. like, people that... But those know, people who doing. pop in for, like, half a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah those pretenders. Yeah, those pretenders, dude. It's like, oh, I see you big now. Remember me? You know, I talked to you <laughs> one time five years ago. It's like, get the fuck out of Yeah, I get it. I get it. Yeah, that's caught. That's just fucked up, man. You know, those people are like, unless they're joking, what, 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 then. What it's... do you think they come in for? Like, what do you think? Like, I don't know. Because they finally see that they they were followed five years ago, and they see it on the top of the list. Like, oh, let me just click on this and talk a bunch of shit for no reason. Oh, I think me? it's just like, they want to feel significant. You know, that's what. It yeah, is. what everyone in the Twitch chat wants. Like, why do you type in a Twitch chat? You want to be recognized, right? Yeah, I mean, I don't mind that, but like, some are just. They're playing. They're just trying to feed their egos, type of deal, you know? Like, yeah, yeah. Real I'm hard. They just want. I'm glad I'm not alone on this. That, yeah. that you guys oh yeah. Ego. I'm, I'm oh, no, totally understandable, yeah, yeah. bro. Relatable. Anybody can relate to that, honestly. <laughs> so it, I don't want to brag is... or anything, but I'm a mod in Bodhi's chat, okay? So. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. They're just showing me like I'm like, yeah. dude, I could get some more mods, and this guy's followed day one. Well, I uh, mod for Mr. Mammal. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's it. And I'm like, get the. You haven't even been in my stream for a day. Do, do, do you want to know something like kind of sad but very honest at the same time so 
I, I don't really watch any streamers. Specifically when it comes to RuneScape, I just don't. And, yeah, um, yeah, I get part, that. Part, part of a big reason for that is because, and this isn't to try and sound arrogant or anything like that, but if I go into a RuneScape streamer's chat and I type, I'm, like, the chances of me getting a response from the streamer is almost 100%, if not, like, 100%. And also, if I type, I get a bunch of people that then start typing to me, and it just makes me feel fucking bad. And I, yeah. I, I don't want to feel that significant that the streamer has to take the time to like specifically read my comment when just there are more and loads of other people. You're, you'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're fine. <laughs> it's good. It's good. That means your ego's in, in check. You know, your, your ego's in check. Yeah, for sure. yeah. But, but like, but... It, it makes me like go into chats less. I never talk in chats because I just feel like. Yeah, I, I don't know. I just feel bad about it. Do you know what, what I mean? hate about yeah. going into other people's chats is when you get everyone that's like, you know, tagging you and asking you questions and shit, and someone else's yeah, live nah, stream. I don't like that. And it's then rude. I'm just yeah, like, yeah. I, I just completely. If someone asks me a question or whatever, I just ignore it because I don't want to take away from the person's live stream. Yeah. And then I hate it when people get pissed off at me for not responding. It's like, yeah, no, see, I don't mind. Send me a message on yeah. Discord or yeah, like yeah, a DM yeah. or something. I, I usually respond to you. I just want to. Yeah, because like I usually don't like. I take my sweet time when it comes to like talking with people on twitch because i usually kind of have like a crew sort of say you know like people that i've already developed a revy type bond with their community so it's like i'm just i'm just with them you know what i mean like if i'm there we're just all talking and just you know and just having fun so i i rarely try to like go out of that and talk to another yeah. streamer because then it feels weird because it might feel like marketing and stuff i hate i hate it when it feels like marketing obviously oh yeah yeah because like yeah. if someone literally asked me in someone else's chance like when's the new next video like i don't want to talk to you about that like why they would you ask you me like, nice twitch prime bro. like why the hell would you talk to me about that on someone else's stream like literally yo why don't you just say hi what's up you know instead of like yeah when's the next video like come on bro you know, Maybe I'll just spend a week yeah. being a shameless sellout in other people's Twitch right. chats and see, see what happens. I yeah, go like, into a chat. Yeah, yeah, like, video video video. Series, dude. I'm like, yeah. here's a link to this one. Check out my Twitter as well. Yeah, <laughs> dude. That'd be a fucking great video. Get the streamers reacting. Uh, yeah. like, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> what the fuck? Yo, can I permit a link? What? You just slap the donation. Like, Here you go, guys. <laughs> I want to show you guys something. <laughs> can I get a permission? Brilliant. Yo. Yeah, so I've had people. You guys remember that, when Zezima or Zazima? People get mad when you don't pronounce it right. Who just say both? Just say both. Zezima. Yeah. It's Zezima. Yeah, it's Zezima. I'm, I'm gonna Zezima. call him the Z-Man. You remember when Z-Man was the best shit, and you added him, and every time we went online, you yeah. just oh, shit. Well, yeah. now it almost feels like I can't turn my friends to just on. You no, know, I don't. Private do on. I don't do that because well, mine's I, on off all the time. Yeah, yeah no, I get I hit up right when I turn it on, and then I can't. Act talk back to these guys because you have to add them my friends yeah, is no, so i just age. feel really fucking bad so i have to turn it back off do, do you not ever just like i don't do turn it. your private from on to off like over and over again just so it's <laughs> bad as their chat it's nah, like that a fucking no, teacher no. to have you added dude <laughs> oh brilliant <laughs> Jesus, Hitler, calm down, nah, bro. Nah. <laughs> yeah. I just nah, don't I, do I, it. I don't, I don't do that, but nah, I've been so tempted, man. I've been so tempted. But it would also annoy my friends, so... Yeah, no, nah, I just don't like it when I'm, like, AFKing or something and someone says... I mean, not, not, I don't like them. It's just, like, I just don't like when I'm in that situation. Don't you know? come up to me while I'm skilling. Like, I'm just AFKing and then someone says hi, but then I'll, I'll find out they said that, like, 20 minutes ago. And then I say hi, but then it's like, wait, they're not there anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. like, oh, okay yeah don't interrupt his yeah. sweet gameplay dude it's, it's so awkward dude because i'm like yo i'm so sorry i wish i could just be like i'm so sorry i wish i knew you were there <laughs> i was literally not playing i wasn't even playing the game like i'm just cutting trees and shit you know like i don't i don't look at the game at that yeah, point yeah yeah it's awkward it is it is a weird thing yeah it's awkward but it's, it's like... an ego booster right for runescape play just to get known in runescape dude, yeah i mean i, I don't mind saying hi like it's not it's not hard it's i'm just... not i'm not even playing man like yeah. sometimes going on my main account and this is like a really weird fucking thing yeah but like if i was to compare it to anything which was like a, a real life issue i would say that it's very much like anxiety like when i log into rick yeah, if i take him to like a public area I know that people will come up to me and talk to me. And if I miss something, people are instantly going to be like, you yeah, know, they're gonna feel oh, bad. this guy's fucking arrogant because he yeah. doesn't respond. Yeah. Do, you know, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it, almost, it almost makes me anxious yeah, to no, go it does. to like a yeah. popular place on my main account. It's fucked, I, man. I don't I play think, on uh, my main anymore. 
one know? thing with like YouTube and stuff is like people are so afraid to like not respond or come off as a bad person or something like that. Yeah. Like, you know, people won't harshly respond to YouTube comments. Like someone calls them a fucking idiot. They won't call them a fucking idiot back. Yeah. And like, this, you. this brings me I, back to yeah. Escape's uh, Twitter If I'm just roast. chilling, <laughs> yeah. If I'm just chilling in game, like I'm AFK smithing rune dart tips yeah, or something. Yeah, YouTube persona I've got this off. guy <laughs> that has sent me 75 messages in the chat and he's pissed off that I haven't responded. I'll just say, dude, I'm trying to fucking chill and leave me alone. You <laughs> yeah. know what I mean? And like, I think people are just way too afraid to yeah. be real and just like- Yeah, no, yeah, no, dude, 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 me, yo, right? dude, the amount of times that I get called arrogant for being real, dude, Countless, yeah. bro. I, I like literally, dude. I'm I'm like super arrogant in in the eyes of many people, apparently. Yeah. I mean, you, like it's weird though because trend, though. yeah, I was surprised. Just, like, though. I'm not gonna lie. I was surprised I, initially, right? I was like, man, have I been that much of an asshole? But then I realized, <laughs> no, I'm just I've just been real with people, you know. Yeah. And I just exactly. don't give them what I don't give them the nice, comfortable, you know, compliments that they're looking for, right? Yeah. Because, yeah, like, you exactly. know what it is, dude? There's people, right, they'll ask you a question, and they expect you to answer them in a certain way. They want you to answer in, yeah. like, a way that'll, like, make them feel good or, like, uh, reaffirm them. But I'm real, right? Yeah. So oftentimes, I don't often agree with someone's opinion. So I'll just, I'm not going to roast them. I'm just going to say it in a neutral way. But it comes off as arrogant because it does not. So you give them real facts, though, right? Yeah, I, I just, just give them objectivity, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I just, I just, I just hate yeah. lying. Yeah, I, I, I just get hate tired lying. of repetitive yeah. questions on Twitch. So they're yeah. like, "What's the new wilderness key?" And I'm like, "Well, Konar is actually now in the wilderness, and if you can go there." And I'll just start <laughs> telling this fat lie, and I'll have the chat agree. And I'll yeah, just, just every time lie because yeah. I'm just like. Fuck, I don't want to explain this many times. Yeah. So just every time it's a story. Yeah. And My favorite thing is like I think I think <laughs> some people in Twitch expect that because you stream RuneScape, you know everything about it. Yeah. I remember once when I was getting my infernal cape, I was on Zuck. <laughs> and obviously I didn't see this at the time, but my mate pointed out afterwards. Someone came into my chat when I'm halfway through Zuck and said hey man do you know what the drop rate is for a beaver pet if you're cutting maple trees or something like that and i was like the wiki dog <laughs> <laughs> google it i don't know bro <laughs> People, literally, people literally ask me, what's the best ways. way to train a rune pure with this certain build? And I'll be like, well, yeah. if you go to Varrock and you take a left, there's going to be some goblins, right? You're going to go down the pit, go through the fucking end of the dungeon. Uh, you're going to go in the wilderness, and on the left there to the south, All right. is, uh, fuck yeah. off. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I actually, <laughs> I personally like specific questions because that way I can get like straight into the answer. But then there's people that ask you like, oh, okay, so I'm trying to get to like level 50 to 73 uh, construction. How many uh, oak logs do I need to make that happen? I'm like, what the fuck am I yeah, a calculator, man. dude? I, I cannot, I, mean, I cannot do this. To make a I chair, can't... you get a double <laughs> chair bonus every five oh. minutes. And I just, uh, I, that... uh, but uh, do you know, do you know what? Like, like, I, don't, I don't stream very much. Oh, uh, shit. I don't stream, I've stopped streaming altogether. But all of these people coming into your chat yeah, asking so funny. retarded questions. It's so funny. That yeah. is like me as a streamer. I'm asking retarded <laughs> questions to my viewers. <laughs> <and> my... <laughs> I mean, everything you just said, like oh, I asked that stuff to my chat. Oh, I'm brilliant. like, chat, you guys are useless. Tell yeah. me It's so hard, though. Because they won't give you the answer immediately. I, I can't do XP it, calculations, like, man. That's, uh, that's way too hard, dude. Yeah. I'm like, how am I supposed to know how many oak planks you need from 50 to 70, dude? Like, that's impossible to, for me to know. Cause, like, and there's just, like, infinite impossible. resources on the internet to figure yeah, all this shit it. out. Right. They can just Google it, you know? Yeah. Uh, I feel bad, though, because like, I really... I hate when I'm not able to answer a question, because I feel like... Oh, I, use, I use an inventory overlay, right? And it has an AGS in the inventory, but it looks like the inventory, so I hide my world switcher. And I'll be on my 60 attack gear, and they're like, dude, why do you have an AGS? Deep wilderness, and I'm like, well, if you didn't know, that's actually a dragon god sword. Uh, just, <laughs> they're like, dude, what the fuck, a dragon god sword? I'm like, yeah, dude, oh, a dragon bro. god sword. It's, okay, it's Mint's just a man. troll. He's just a troll. Yo, bro. Mint, oh, I, I, dude, shit. you've sold me your stream, man. I'm gonna start watching him more. <laughs> yeah, All I do is just roast dumb people. Just don't type in the chat, Rexy. Yeah. Don't type in the chat, bro. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey guys, roast only stream. I'll be super <laughs> sincere too, so they kind of believe it. It's so fun, man. Yeah, I'm not like that all so the time, good. but just that fucking some people, dude. You just gotta yeah. Get story. I mean, like I just try. I, I like I just you know try not to be negative in any way, cause like that's the only 
That's the best thing oh, yeah, we was, could do. But it's like I was hard. gonna say, Eviescape started the trend on roasting people back on YouTube Twitter, comments. dudes. Yeah, that's crazy. yeah, yeah. I've I just saw like on yeah. YouTube, especially. I'm sure you guys get it. Like, oh, you get oh, a lot yes. of comments of people just like you. You cop a lot of shit in the comments. Oh, section. you do for sure. Doesn't matter how good your video is. It doesn't matter how many positive comments you have. Just There's one. always just like a lot. One guy. A lot of just shit comments, and I was like. Well, I'm not gonna fucking just let him roast me, you know. <laughs> I gotta give him something back. Evie, we gotta make a backhand trade here, all right? Anytime you roast someone roasting me on my own YouTube video, I'll pin it. How about that? <laughs> all right, the bag deal. So trade. Done deal. Scan the comments. You'll be my roaster. <laughs> Cause fuck these people, dude. Oh man. I got you, man. Thank you. Good yeah. Way. Roast bag association, you know. God, yeah. i love roasting people man it's fun i like to like seeing what i can come up with you know uh, i yeah. sit there and I'll, I'll, I'll be like what can i say to this prime up your and comedy like, material yeah i'll think about it until i laugh myself i'm like okay it might be mild it might be mildly <laughs> yeah, humorous if that's I a good myself. one let's put it <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah we're all we're all trolls to ourselves you know because yeah. like you're just like you know what man this guy thinks he can get away with it i'm, I'm about to reverse troll this kid you know yeah. Make it happen. Yeah. Uh, is there any... it's, all, it's all just words on the internet, right? So. Yeah. Pretty much. Is there any more RuneScape stuff? Okay, or... I'll be honest with you. Uh, I think Jagex <laughs> has taken a stance and decided to keep it down low with the updates for a while. Because think about it. The past three weeks, what have we had? Not much. Just really small things, right? Real. Oh. We've had the Crystal Sword on Twitter and then people just started making art of itself. That was fucking fantastic. I yeah, I mean, there hasn't been anything major, which is good, because I feel like they've been doing so much quality of life stuff. They've just been gradually making the game so easy, like, every week. I'm like, I don't, nobody asked for this. You know, like, why do you keep adding these, right? So I'm glad. I, I, I much rather we have these periods where just nothing's happening, and then something big, substantial happens, which, by the way, um, L, L City should be coming out very soon. I believe. Uh, uh, I, I think it's either like 2024. I, I think I it's either quest. this month or early next month. So it's coming out real really soon, guys. Quest, dude. It's, and, uh, I think yeah. it's late this month. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So I'm excited really? for that, dude. That, that's God what I want, it, honestly, dude. from RuneScape, dude. I don't want them every week to be like, oh, guys, we made this a little easier. We made that a little easier. Now you can press escape for this. Like, I don't want any of that nonsense, dude. Just, I, you know, I have a very unpopular opinion on yeah, that. I think yeah. it's great that they do that because... I mean, how about... I'm, I've got I've got a very, like, I'm yeah. very business-minded, and uh -huh, I just uh -huh, think, like, okay. they've come out with mobile. They've got heaps of new players in the game. Right? I like mobile, though. I don't mind mobile. They, they want to yeah. keep those new players around, Whereas like all of the veteran players, we are all the same. We're never going to quit just because they go, oh, you can now uh, quick pass through the underground pass. If they brought that into the game, everyone's going to be like, oh, why the fuck did you do that? And then they're going to forget about it the next week. You well, know? yeah, so I get all of that, the right? veteran players are going to stay yeah. around. Anyway, so, so more energy. Into I, I'm, I'm with you in some respects, right? I'm, I'm a middleman. I feel like. Uh, some things in this game are genuinely stupid and obviously, you know, need some work. But like, uh, Damn. they've been going, they've been going with there's, this route. There's no though. positive stance there, yeah. dude. Yeah, no, no, but like, <laughs> yeah, 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 but see, I, I haven't ended what I was going to say, right? But like, um, okay, so I get it, right? You need to do some quality life stuff. But I feel like the past two years, they've been doing it so often. I don't know if you feel that. I feel that. Like literally every single week, they'll just like completely change some things but but you think about it one change isn't a big deal but when you like stack up all these different like quality of lives in a span of a month it's a it's it's a lot it's very noticeable like i've noticed yeah, yeah, my entire sure. gameplay has like dramatically gone easier overall like, it, it changes a lot right but yeah, yeah if you stack it goes it back to what, what i was yeah. saying it's just like yeah they might make it a, a bit easier and let's just say you know there's a hundred thousand players and 50,000 of those are so fucking addicted they're never gonna leave and then they go oh if we make this update 15 players are gonna quit but the update is gonna bring in a thousand new players it just makes so much more sense yeah yeah so, sure like, I agree with that right? is like in a meth way. but then you're trying to get meth to children is what you're saying <laughs> <laughs> Kind of. exactly okay it's exactly. well it, it's more it leads back to just a more bigger problem where once this game becomes too casual the point of grinding kind of 
becomes obsolete and then it <laughs> dies, right? Oh, like this is like rare V. This is like very long term shit. So I don't want to talk about yeah. that mainly, but I'm just saying like I'm okay with quality lives. I just think they need to find a better balance, man. I don't think we need it every single week because that's what they've been doing for two years straight, and it's like really starting to nag people. Like you know, starting to nag. Stag starting to nag me. Yeah. We we could do like a twenty hour podcast where we yeah. dissect old school oh, yeah. Inscape oh, for sure. and why it is the way it is. But like something that like really sticks out to me is that back in the day when I used to play, like back way in the day, people that were PKers only really cared about PK and related stuff. People that were skitters only cared about skin and related stuff. People that were PVMers only cared about PVM related stuff. That's changed. Everyone's so more like everyone's so interconnected now everyone is like having a go at everybody regardless of what the issue is like this is the way i view it it's like i want them to bring out a pvp related update and i'm hoping last man standing is gonna be that where i can just forget about everything to do with the game aside from that part that i truly enjoy playing because as soon as that happens i won't give a fuck about any skin and updates or pv updates i'll just be like yeah i literally i'm not gonna vote on it it's whatever as long as i've got this i'm happy doing this like, like, I'm taking where... your cheeks. I'm taking them. <clears throat> LMS. Taking my cheats, you say. Your cheeks. Oh, my cheeks. Dude, I'm telling you now, if I'm going to come back to streaming, it's going to be from for a competitive PvP. 100%. Oh, yeah. It's all I'm interested in streaming. So Okay. But do, do you not think that's interesting, Ree? It's like back in the day. Yeah, true. I, 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 I know it is interesting. Like a skitter PVMer. Like, you wouldn't have given a fuck about PvP or anything like that. It would have simply been a case of wow, if it doesn't affect me, I'm not bothered by it. That's changed now. Everyone's so concerned about everything, man. I, I feel like I, as a community, we have way too much say, and I can't believe I'm oh, saying that, yeah. because no, Jagex fucked up terribly in the past. Like, <laughs> I don't know so why we have so much power. It's ridiculous. The, the player base is literally spoiled. Yeah, yeah. They're yeah. literally spoiled, because if, they, if the company says, hey, we want to do this, if enough people say fuck off then it just doesn't come out yeah they've yeah. just got way yeah. too much say Most and like time. even if even if they come out with something and then majority of the player base is like yeah this is fucking sick and you get three whingy people on twitter being like eh, why would you do this it's gonna ruin that and then they're like oh we can we can tweak it and make it a yeah. little bit different and it's just like it, way yeah, too they spoiled. always have the like little korean avatars you know the, oh, the skillers yeah. Like, yeah. those like, fucking pieces of shit dude oh, oh they're yeah. so angry like, do, do you know, but I, I think I said it before the podcast, how I wanted to delete Twitter, okay? Yeah. I will tell you something now. Like, I've met a lot of RuneScape players in real life, people that are content creators, people that are just generally fans of the game, etc. And I think they're lovely people. And I see those people that I, I, I hold to such, like, a high standard in real life on Twitter moaning like a bunch of old fucking whores and it straight <laughs> up makes me just feel like deleting twitter because i'm like Legit. you're going down in my opinion because you're moaning like this yeah. and i moaning don't give like a shit. an old whore i'm gonna add moaning, to my moaning like a bunch of old whores on twitter like anybody gives a fuck what about what about my that, monthly basically. tweets you know you read my monthly tweets? I don't I don't post much, but you know, what about my Dude, tweets? I, I, I hate it so much because I see people that I actually yeah. hold to such a high value in real life and then they post stuff like that and I'm just Yeah, like, honestly oh, the last the, the the last complaint I made on Twitter was about account security. But I think it's a fair point for my part. Oh I mean, the account oh, security. Oh, I remember boy. the day the day that whole thing happened, I didn't read into it. I just saw a bunch of people complaining on Twitter. And I made a tweet saying, just once I want to log on to Twitter and not see someone whinging about something. I didn't realize the whole fucking saga and I got roasted <laughs> by a bunch of Korean avatar people. I uh... fucking hate those people because <laughs> you go in their bios and it's like, uh... cutting, um, oh, yeah. and, you know, uh, I, I feel oh. like, um, obviously the, there's no way to really get the balance going. Cause like, uh, I think for a long time it's, uh, it has always been Jagex mixed the rules jagex does yeah. things on their own right it's always like this is the full bar jagex and then after uh elc and it started becoming more like okay players are getting some say you know they're getting it they're getting it like maybe about 30 percent, right but like now it's more like here's jagex and then here's the player base it's like a strong yeah. 70 yeah. percent type of deal 
So I feel like, like obviously we yeah, need to that's... start shifting back to like 50 50 type of deal, right? I yeah. feel like we always yeah. need feedback yeah. for sure, but I think they should just ban those loud people, you know, like the worst ones. Like, get the Dude, Korean avatar because they're, they're, they're so shit. loud. Shut the fuck up and mine your fucking ore. Well, no well yeah, yeah, but the thing is, Shut you know, the fuck up and mine your mother load mine. Yeah, yeah, they're, yeah. they're the noisiest because they have the most to lose, and that's their uh, XP yeah. ranks and shit. They, they have don't have anything to lose, they just have a bunch of time on their hands because all they're doing is fletching, okay? Yeah. That's yeah, and that's what that's what's so good about RuneScape, though, right? It's the time investment that you need to put in to, mm. to get somewhere that you can kind of rep. So for like, them, I'm... you know, their XP rings are a lot. They, it means a lot to them. It doesn't like to us, we don't give shit, right? But like to them, it means yeah. a lot. So they're gonna. Well, try I've had a lot of people everything. talk yeah. about how RuneScape's getting uh, easier and cheaper, and viables are easier and yeah, exactly. Just, you yeah. know, over overall. And then I had some people, because I was talking about wilderness updates and how there are none. Even the new wilderness update was more like a Slayer update for Iron Man. And then I had this guy complaining. He's like, yeah, dude, Pecane just this should be taken out of the game. It doesn't do anything. I'm thinking, so do you know Pecane's like the biggest money sink in the game, right? Like yeah. half of what you PK is gone in potions and runes. And most people die. Some don't even loot anything, right? Potions don't come back into the game. Runes don't come back in the game. Armors... <laughs> Did he just this? <laughs> Wait a bit. <laughs> Yo, you just liked me like you five seconds. You took the most dramatic pulls ever, man. You're like, oh, what the fuck? Dude, I come back, everyone's laughing. What the fuck? Yeah, you completely like... disconnected. You're like halfway through your sentence. You're just like. <laughs> what were you trying to say, you little plebeian? I don't know where you guys last heard myself, dude. You're saying it's an item sink. Yeah, yeah. Thing things don't. Armor. Yeah, you're saying things leave the game. So yeah, when you PK, if you think about it, PKers, it's not like PVM where they're bringing something to the game. PKing literally just takes things out of the game. Yeah. No much. one is literally profiting. Someone's losing something all the time, yeah. right? So I don't know why people are so against updates for PK. You get more people in the wild, you get more people to lose shit. Economy mm -hmm. gets a little better, right? I feel as though if they're gonna like try and get heaps more people into the wilderness though, then they're gonna have to make PK not be like net zero. Like one person wins, one person loses. It's gonna have to All be right, that so, everyone wins. So this is uh, Maybe, where I yeah. feel like we could trade off some of it. You know, I feel like PVMing, I'm a PVMer, right? It's too, I would say it's too rewarding. I'm gonna say PVMing is too rewarding. I'm not saying the bossing <laughs> element is is. I feel like the bossing element is fine. It's oh, it's amazing. But but bro, I don't think we need gargoyles giving you like 600k an hour every goddamn hour. Yeah. You know, type of deal. Yeah. I'm like, why? Why do you need that? You know? I don't understand. Like, isn't even isn't getting to abyssal demons and getting an occasional whip and like. You know, getting those things like isn't that good enough? Hasn't that always been the case? Like, why? But that that could also be more of, or like along the lines of yeah, we we like that aspect because we were yeah, around yeah, yeah. when it was like that. But to bring other people into the game, they need to keep them around. Yeah, and if sure. They're gonna have to come in and make a new account, and then they're gonna do fuck all until they get to raids. Then they're gonna be like, well, well it's gonna take I mean... me two sure. months to get to raids i sure. can't be bothered playing this but game like anymore, there's you know? way more bosses though than raids dude you got dk oh, no, 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 sure. yeah, like sure. dude you don't need to go to raids to make money dude so yeah. that's what i'm saying it's like you already have some really nice places to have been making money before all these changes like what was what went through their heads when they decided like yo let's make skeletal mm -hmm. wyverns like you know shit out alcohols yeah. and all that shit that's like, what it all went to i don't shit, understand bro. like what wyverns. Well, you, why... you've got you've got a problem with like certain bosses giving like a specific uh, GP amount per yeah round, like it's guar like too much guaranteedness. There's too much uh, you know guaranteedness. Yeah, 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 like a... Listen, yeah, sure. if I'm I Fresh understand bag. where you're coming yeah, from, but yeah, if too much specifically specifically about gargoyles. Okay, so yeah, it's yeah. a requirement of seventy five Slayer. Yep. If I if I was to talk about it, it's like people that can barely get seventy five Slayer, they're pretty much fucking casuals at the game. And yeah, yeah, 75 star takes like a decent amount I mean, of time. You can to do get barrels to... before you even get to gargoyles, let's be honest. That's true. 500k yeah. GP per hour. It's yeah. It, it it's not terrible. Like it's I not mean, something that's, I have that's, an issue with. Dude, it's AFK. That's the thing. It's straight AFK. I know, AFK. but <laughs> the thing is, if it's the difference between people playing the game for an extended amount of time instead of quitting between the 75 to 85 slayer grind, which is a huge jump. Then so fucking be it, dude. It's 500k GP an hour. 
Be honest, I, I, I kind of mean, a lot, with that's Eve a lot. because I've been getting a lot of new people in my stream that are fucking horrible at RuneScape, and I'm thinking, where where the fuck are my casuals at? You know, like they're asking me, yo, where do I get this, or how do I train that, or what are rock crabs? I'm thinking, Jesus Christ, but that's a good thing, right? But there's yeah, a lot right. of new people yeah. coming to the game. It is a good thing. Well, and it almost I, took me off guard. Can be good, getting more but... people. I, I mean, fuck the children, right, right? right? But, that's but, but that's what, no, but I'm bringing it back to the PKing, though. You're saying PKing is pretty much, you know, nobody, not everybody gains, right? I mean, that's always the case, but you're saying PKing well, is not being rewarding, about it, If someone right? kills somebody else, they take their items, but what's lost in the process is, uh, you know, you got to repair some shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Your yeah. runes, your yeah. shards, your food. It's a minimal like. It is truly a lot. survival of the okay. fittest in the in the wilderness <laughs> scene, but PVMing is not you? like that, dude. <laughs> I mean, PVMing is always everybody gains, right? There's no Dude, losing, you, right? You lose your heart so. and soul, man. You lose your, <laughs> man. your integrity. Yeah, I'm not really your sure. Your life goes yeah. down the You gotta buy a bond for a <laughs> name change, you know? You gotta... <laughs> <laughs> a lot so, of money coming oh out the game here. But like, like, Rhi, I do know, I, I, I see what you're saying. Yeah. But at the same I... time, it's like, if it's 500k GP per hour, and it's gonna make people stick around and play the game for longer, that are casuals so fucking dear i don't care as long as it's, it's not something not the ridiculous point, though. yeah that's i don't think that's the point though i don't think the update was made because it keeps more casual players playing though yeah, it's i don't more think like they have alt accounts they right? made it yeah it yeah it's just, just it's what do just you the think fact it was for there's it's just dragon all it's gargoyle it wasn't for all. anything dude jagex literally just decided on a whim that they should fucking pull this shit and obviously it would pass right because it's like it's like saying do you want free money obviously people are gonna go <laughs> yes right so it's like it was just something that jagex for no reason whatsoever thought it was a good idea to just literally make every single slayer mob uniform gp rates right much. we we can say that it was just for no reason yeah all, literally we nothing don't, we don't, right. we don't, no, 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 we don't know no, 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 we don't know no, 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 what's going on behind I, the scenes yeah they didn't right. say anything they, they didn't purposely dude, make the update for a specific reason they just did it this this yeah. may be a little bit off but i feel yeah. like it's actually a lot right if I remember the yeah. time when they buffed gargoyles, shut up, fucking minute. What kind of shit? <laughs> right. right. I think it's a little right. I think the time that they buffed gargoyles, in all seriousness, was around the time when Denmal Mode was kind of like kicking off and taking off. And I, I have a funny feeling that the buffing of gargoyles had something, and quite a lot of something, to do with Deadman Mode. And like oh, being fuck. able to bring consistent GP into the game. I'm being deadly serious. Uh -huh. Like if Man. you went back. For I don't know. Thing. They didn't say anything. They literally just said, "Hey guys, we're suggesting this. You want it? Of course, people want it because it's do you want free money? Of course, right?" So yeah. and that came out. So it's it's just that simple. Be because I swear I remember it passing, and then like a few days later there was a demo mode tournament, and people were like, "Oh my god, look how much money I'm making a gargoyle." So, yeah, I mean, there I, could be I, some. I feel like it was very close. Could be some correlation right. to that. I mean, they there they wasn't really any have specific. They wanted reason. to push dead man mode. They wanted to be successful. Yeah. They, yeah, they were really and they, I mean, for it. Fuck it. Uh, 500k GP per hour from gargoyles for the I, I mean, like, or... look, man, it's not the casuals that are abusing this. It's mo it's mostly the people with alts and shit that are abusing that stuff. Dude, you get, you yeah, guys have yeah. been seeing people talk about Dead Man Mode, right? So. Like last season, everyone's like, dude, trash, it sucked, needs changes, and this year it's the last one, and yeah, everyone has yeah. high praises for it only. Yeah. What the fuck happened there, dude? It's it's just like like I said, everyone's so spoiled. Yeah, they really they're just is. like, it's not exactly the way that I want it to be. I'm gonna yeah. complain, and yeah. now Jagex is like, "Well, everyone's complaining too much. We'll stop it." And everyone's like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa, whoa don't <laughs> fucking stop it! Hang on, like, yeah. in case something yeah. like, week, bring it back, baby." Yeah. You know, it's like, yeah. what yeah. the fuck? Dude, it's I mean, it's bad. not. I... They're making another one though, right? They're just revamping <gasps> and shit. Right? <laughs> yeah, they're they're making. But it seems like one, everyone's guys. flip flopped on. on their opinions, man. I'm sticking yeah. to it. Devin mode blows ass, dude. I'm sticking to that uh, opinion think, right there. Yeah, I, I, I mean. Agree with you. I think it, it was good for watch. It was good for Ash, motion. Though. That's Ash for sure. Play. I don't, I don't even know, find dude. it fun to watch. <laughs> I don't find it fun to watch it until the When you're watching Ditter Bitter hey, take it on a YouTuber for 30 mil in Devin mode, you're sitting there like, Wait. oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Try casting it. You don't like watching it. <laughs> dude, I would love casting it. Fly me up there. What the fuck? I would be Grace, he's like, and one player... Puts a bolt in and the other person <laughs> avenges. Oh, and now, oh he put on his melee his crotch, and hit the zero. Uh, <laughs> I, I like the hybrid fights, to be fair. The tanking yeah. fights. And now they're oh, tanking. And uh, they're still hitting nothing. 
Yeah. All right. Zero. Someone Zero. just That's ate a shark. That's you in that right. morphine again, dude. Right, right? See, pop up on there. We're all having a good time. There you go. Dude, the commentator right, should have been like, take off your armor, you pussy. You know? Guys, <laughs> I, I think we could talk about yeah. issues regarding Jagex yeah, and yeah, yeah. how of they course. care too much about the re... I can't say it on Twitter, etc. and Reddit. Who cares? Yeah, no. Nah, Reddit's of degenerates. Don't listen to them, Jagex. You should take control. Like... Yeah. I've always said that this, this is the way that we treat old school RuneScape, Jagex as a whole, yeah? It's like, I, I see it as if it's a girlfriend that's cheated on us, and we've taken her back, yeah. and we've we've kept her so close and <laughs> so tight on that fucking leash that we're like, you're not <laughs> having any control of your life or your business. <laughs> kind of, fucking kind life. of. Ugh. And that's exactly how I see it, and All it's right. time that Jagex said, you know what, babe? This was a long fucking time ago. I did that. I yeah. need some space. I need are some you, respect. I want to Are you insinuating we're raping Jagex? Is that what I'm? All right, look, look. Or... All right, here, controlling the fuck yo, out of here, Here's here's a quick. Raping them, dude. Here's a quick numerical summary of what Rixie's is saying. Jagex control, thirty percent. Players control seventy percent. Oh, overall, yeah. that's that's what it is. Bring but it back to fifty percent. Bring it back to at least fifty percent for Jagex, yeah. and then keep keep us at yeah. forty fifty. All right, that's what we need. Except except the thing is, that's, except that's for just player, never gonna fly. bro, bro. Except for player security, player base one hundred percent on that shit. Fix that shit. You need to fix that yeah. shit. Okay. Jagex, except for that one, fix that. Shit. Take control of your fucking game. <laughs> Deal yeah. with your I remember, business. Stop listening I, to all of these idiots on Reddit and Twitter. I don't yeah. care about them. You shouldn't listen to them. I made a, a video less. like a year ago, like <laughs> even longer than a year ago, saying yeah. they just need to get rid of polls. Just start bringing updates in the game because at the I end know. of the day, right? If they bring out an update and everyone's like, "This is fucking shit. Why would you do that?" and everyone's universal about it, then they just take it out. I mean, I feel like the hiding poll results has, you know, been a really good thing. I mean, finally, it took them five years, but uh, yeah, it's here. I'm happy with that at the very least, but yeah, I mean, I feel like that's a good middle ground. But yeah. in terms of feedback, okay. though, fifty percent, take it back at least fifty percent, dude. Mm. Yeah, I, I agree. At Anyways, least. I say we wrap it up. We've yeah. got nothing else to talk about. Yeah, we have to think of a spicy, uh, a spicy thumbnail and talk. This, this, this podcast Anyways. was so much hot air, dude. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was basically <laughs> YouTubers yeah. ranting about work. Uh, almost two hours. That was dude. like five percent RuneScape. I love it. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> hey man, that's what it's about. Because Anyways, you know, EP. like I said, there hasn't been that much RuneScape stuff recently. Yeah. Uh, that's good mate ev yeah. where can the people find you dude plug your shit uh look man just find me on youtube ev scape uh you can catch me on twitter um putting pictures of me roasting people in the youtube comment section that's great stuff and uh twitch ev scape as well i think if you yeah. want to reply from him just be very oh what comment. are your plans now what are your plans now that your 180 videos are done i am going to spend a lot more time uh on editing because oh yeah we get to see some I, edits maybe i i copped a lot of shit throughout the uh 165 days oh, or whatever yeah, it was yeah. that you know my video quality had gone downhill and i always said but well, mine hasn't gone downhill but everyone else has just picked up so <laughs> high and now i gotta i gotta catch up so Lots more time on the edits, um, you know, two or three videos a week, and yeah, RuneFest. I'm excited for that. Oh, hey, okay. I mean, I wish I can see you there, dude. Uh, but I, I gotta go TwitchCon mint, so. Yeah. Yeah, but America, maybe next year. Next year. Both. Maybe next year. <laughs> also, Twitch. What about maybe. that? How's that going? What's your plan for that? Twitch. Yeah. What's your uh, plan for that? I don't know. I gotta start streaming again, man. But <laughs> I'm maxing. I'm maxing at the moment. I'm like, do I really want to stream to people while I fucking do construction for eight hours? Probably not. That's just okay. boring. After you max, you might get back. Huh? <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe. Okay. Okay. All right. Good to know. Good to know. All right, man. It was good having you on. Hey, thanks for having me, guys. It's been yeah. good. I hope you guys like this podcast. Please like the podcast. Okay. <laughs> Are we wrapping up now? Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bye bye.